Yeah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in favor of uh, execution. Maybe, maybe our entire team needs to be executed after tonight. And I don't want a DMCA. What's up, guys? <laughs> I was waiting for that line. Uh, what's up, guys? Hope you're good. I had to get you a little bit of hype on the way in uh, with some rip. Uh, guys, appreciate all y'all. Hope you're doing well. Smash the like button out there. Share this out. We're going to have a good one tonight. This is a really fun one. Uh, I've been waiting for this one. Uh, I see the glory tip of Pakistan. The pip is in the chat. Shout out to everybody here today. It's going to be a really, 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 really fun one. On chat tonight i have of all of the creators on youtube of all the people on youtube i have more requests for pippa pipkin clips than any other creator out there on youtube so that said any other vtuber like any other single person uh so that said i collected a lot today we're gonna have fun with this this is a fun stream it's a positive stream uh so this is gonna be a great one uh, i'm not vtubing today because i'm not pink tube today because i will be doing a lot of that when i am traveling i'll be in manila in 36 hours uh 36 48 hours so i'm gonna obviously take a little break from streaming uh so you won't see me till maybe thursday ish or, or wednesday night eastern uh, so you won't see me for a while uh, streaming. So it's going to be a little bit of a break here. Uh, maybe there'll be a members only chat. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, but that said, there'll be a little bit of a break. Um, so I wanted to come back in the flesh, but I'll be doing a, a lot of that. It might be using the pink tuber a little bit more if the lighting isn't good or if the setup isn't uh, that great where I'm at uh, to begin with. So that said, uh, we're going to have really some fun tonight. And in accordance with that, uh, we have two guests today. Also, shout out to the Juni Raid. Uh, welcome and thank you over there to Juni. I was always a very, very good guest. Uh, and also, thank you, David Michael, for the five legal mindset memberships. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Appreciate that. All right. First and foremost, he's he's the one who brought me into this whole VTuber mess. And certainly, he has also suggested many a Pippa clip. And that is my good friend, the Gator Gamer. Gator! How are you? What's up, everybody? Hey, Shout out to the hey, bees in the chat. There's a there's a lot. There's a lot. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, uh, Sabuna gifted five legal minds. Thank you so much, Sabuna. Make sure you get that gift turn on gift memberships. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, and now, next, we've got uh, someone who I've been wanting to bring on for a little bit, but definitely this is the right topic for him as we get into uh, some of these historical things, and that is Cody of Anime Outsiders. Cody. Hi, That's everybody. So cool. Hi. It's so great to meet you. It's so great to be here. I'm having a wonderful time. <laughs> already. Already. Um, so, um, yeah, we're going to get into it today. It's all talking about uh, the high crimes of Pippa Pipkin and going through some of the highlights kind of in the, the big four. I'll call it the big four. Of, or some of the biggest four, we might say, in terms of uh, the crimes of Pippa Pimpin, the controversies, and some of the legal side of it, some interesting debate, and also how some of it shows that Pippa is a mad genius, perhaps, perhaps, uh, of, in the way yeah. that she handles things, in the way she handles things. Um, but we already have some super chats, so let me read some of these. First of all, Pink Rat calls me late and gay. Uh, you're, you're welcome. Uh, yeah. Tinker Owl said, damn you, Andrew, you were streaming before my work. Now you're streaming before I go to bed. You're killing me, man. Will I get sleep today? No. Sleep when I'm not streaming, bro. Sleep when I'm not streaming. You sleep when I sleep. You see me? You see me, Tinker Rat? 
I'm your sleep. You sleep when he now. sleeps, which means never. <laughs> Tinker got to get on that Thailand schedule. Yeah, get on that. Get on that. Get on that cock schedule. The Bangkok schedule. Um, Lelouch says, "Can't wait for the stream to start." Twelve hours later. <laughs> Marksman says, with the backing of Arch himself, oh, nice. Chat thrones as God stays challenged. Let the money flow in this humble stream, for chat can be a benevolent God. Amen. Amen. Uh, also, lawyer late, if chat will turn you into a literal goat VTuber, chat will dominate the market with number one goat VTuber above 39 IQ. In, in, indeed. In, indeed. Uh, Duck said, what I miss? Everything. You missed You missed absolutely everything. Uh, Gordo Gamer says, sorry that you contracted late can... Late can late got. I know you played the metal remix of Rip, but not the original. Yes, that was the metal. That was the metal remix. Yes, that was actually thanks to suggestion by this guy. Who's like, that's 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 the more friendly one. All right, all right, we'll do that one. Um, Jake Amanda said the thumbnails made it makes it look like you're she's the one putting you in jail. Is that intentional, my guy? That's not my that's not my thing, bro. That's not my thing, but uh, but yeah, yeah, it could be could be that interpreted that way oh can i just say uh you made a terrible error in your title you have it listed as pippa pipkin her name is pipkin pippa you spell it or you write it out in the japanese order of surname oh oh she's very insistent oh. about that she's gonna get you now she's gonna get you she's a crazy oh, woman go in the sun. Go in the sun. Go in the sun. <laughs> she can be running towards your house right Hello. now and you would have yeah, no idea yeah. It's happened. We have no idea. You never know with a VTuber. You never know when they're running right. You don't have any Walmarts over there in Thailand, do you? I'm just saying. No, no, IKEA's, but not Walmarts. <laughs> uh, glory to the Pakistan. Marksman, appreciate you. Uh, and Sparky became a member. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Pippa at me on Twitter two weeks ago, and it scared me because I thought I did something. Then I found out it was a 14 type forum I was talking about it. Oh. Well, if it's 4chan, then of course it's the Yabbit. Of course, of course. Uh, Knight says, might take a break. Niji Sanji, do something stupid moting. <laughs> no, no, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you, Rick. I mean, Stop doing shit. One of them kind of said something. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but one of their talents um, went to back yes. to the company saying that, like, well, about the YouTube play button. The play thing. button? Yeah. Yeah they, said, yeah. yeah. they said that, like, well, you can just ask for one if you want one. Which yeah, you can ask. That's true. You can ask. And guess what? You can always say? ask. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Like there's this there's implications there. Uh, even the the reaction Doki Bird had to getting one tells me that uh uh I, I I'm I'm skeptical. Cause like when yeah. she had one, she's like, I actually have one for real, it's amazing. You know, it's like whereas if this guy was right, she could have just asked, and something tells me she couldn't have just asked. Yeah. Yeah, no, I I agree with that. I agree with that. Uh, they were they weren't going to give him. They're not going to give him to anybody. And by the way, I also found out something else about Niji Sanji, uh, which was told to me this morning. So some people asked. So their stock dropped, right? It dropped way down to uh, two thousand um, four hundred and uh, forty at some point. Deep drop. So it hit. Drop. So what it did was it hit a circuit breaker where they literally couldn't sell it anymore. It sold off as much as it could sell. And actually, the only reason why it's going up is today they put a limit on it, right? And if you translate this over, oh. they actually put a sell limit. So you cannot sell it. There's a limit on the amount you can sell per day. So you can still buy, but you can't sell over a certain amount. There's a current suspension in place uh, for any color stock uh, related to the Something sales of any color stock. Something tells me you don't need to do that if a company is doing well and their stock is, yeah. is valuable and yeah, people that you, want that you, to hold on to it. Yeah, it's, it's something tells me that you don't need all of these precautions. Hmm, it's weird. It's weird. It's almost like you're in something called, a, I don't know, death spiral. I don't know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's towards the fucking ground. Um, so, so, yeah. So, yeah. Um, by the way, I love this. Felzu says, mail on stream, unsubscribed, blocked, become anti on TVA. <laughs> don't, don't talk about TVA like that. They're good boys and girls most of the time. Most uh, of the Cody, ba Cody Bauer voice have splendid VTuber potential. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I've thought about it. It looks fun. I need, it looks fun. It is fun. It's so, and, and Cody... Just to be clear, you're a fan, like you're a fan of YouTubers, you're a fan of, of Pippa, right? So I mean yeah. you've you've watched, you're not, you know, a rando who does not familiar 
oh, yeah, uh, with Pippin. I, I, I was an early adopter to the VTuber thing, which is funny because um, with my stuff with a Anime Outsiders, uh, I was kind of known as hating everything, which isn't true. I don't hate everything. I just hate crap. Um, so the waifu angle was like, you know, oh, we're probably going to hate this. But uh, I thought I was going to hate VTubing at first. Uh, mm -hmm. But there's like a, an interesting little unintended consequence. I talked about this on because uh, I'm on a podcast with Gator, Anime Boom. Yes, yeah, anime so boomers. Sure in fact, and, um, uh, he was on the episode that we had Mr. Mediker on and when he gave that shout out to Pippin. That kind of started a, a lot of things that all happened not long after. I have yeah, a habit yeah. of uh, hooking, hooking e-famous people up with other people. I, my, my track record isn't great. Sometimes it doesn't end well. But, <laughs> uh, but, uh, look, this is the second internet. I've jumped from one internet lawyer to another and hopefully... <laughs> This time it ends better than the last time. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, uh, this one's but, this one's actually a weeb. Um, so. <laughs> but, uh, and, like, I thought with the with the VTuber thing, it would be cringe because you think, oh, the waifus yeah. are alive. This is going to make the 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 body pillow sect of the anime fandom way worse. But the interesting little, I guess, unintended consequence of it is because, like, when you make, I talked about this with the anime boomers, when you make all of the girls cute, now the cute girl thing is no longer an advantage it's no longer special you know it's the, when everyone's super nobody is so now streaming it's like okay well what you got so now if you want to rise above the crop you need to be a good entertainer it's not like these these twitch whores where yeah. it's like oh they just sit in a hot tub all the vtubers got boobs unless they're trying to be small and cute so the boobs ain't special you being cute ain't special you being yeah. hot ain't special now yeah. you got to put on a show bitch and i'll say this yeah. This saved streaming for women because it used to be streaming was ruined for women because of Twitch thoughts. Now, because like if you try to stream and you're a girl, people are like, "Well, the Twitch, know, what, the Twitch, the Twitch angle is, and this is actually really well known, is that Twitch has a preference for kind of flesh tubing girls versus mm -hmm. uh, VTubers, right? So like they have a preference, they have kind of a bias against VTubers on Twitch. So. Uh -huh um that that's kind of a not a not secret secret policy is like okay they're you know they're they're going to preference them in the algo right so if you're just yeah. like if you're a flesh tubing chick you're going to get preference in the algo and the, the funny thing is is that these vtubers what really got me on the side of them is that they like you exactly what you said cody they actually have to be skilled they are actually skilled entertainers they actually have to be good at stuff or at least funny right yeah. like if they suck at games they can suck at games but they have to be in, in a funny way and entertaining exactly way. And you look so at the top VTubers, is it is it the one? Because there are absolutely VTubers trying to be the Twitch thought as a VTuber. Like, I, I would say that Amy Schumer would have a ton of simps if she were a VTuber. Because half of these Twitch VTubers are, are doing the same. Oh, is it echoing? Mm -hmm. my, I'm trying to fix my audio, folks. It's uh, all good. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The I echoes. like the sound of my voice. It's kind of nice. How are you going now? <laughs> better. I, I don't hear better. the echo now. Okay, cool. Yeah, Streamlabs, man, or StreamYard, whatever the hell this is. Whatever um, it is, it's all the same. Like the thing with, um, what I was saying with, uh, like, before, if you were a flesh tube and girl and you just wanted to stream some games, you didn't want to do all this crap, people would still think, like, and you know what? I'm not being like, oh, double standards, feminist. No, it was kind of earned because of these other bitches. So if you, were, if you just wanted to stream, people would think, well, yeah, you're still kind of that girl on the internet. You're still kind of just, you whatever. And then it, VTubing came along and sort of reset the meta for for women streaming. So now if you're a woman, you want to stream, you, you come up with a funny character and you uh you, you stream as the character, you get the, the, the avatar and you just do your thing. And now it, it it you have another chance to basically put on a show without people kind of second guessing what you're doing. And as unfair as it was, it wasn't unearned. Like that's just kind of mm -hmm. these these other chicks right. came and leaving it for everybody. So, yeah, I I 100% agree with you, man. I think everybody who's out there who's a VTuber, like, especially if they get those numbers, they earn those numbers, right? Um, now, there's something, too, if you're with an agency, you do get a little bit of insta clout. I, I get that. But also, there's an application process, right? So they went, they got screened at some point, so they clearly could at least pass a screening, uh, you know, some sort of screening, right? I mean, it's, it differs at different companies, right? Phase Connect screening has been brought into question, 
Uh, but, but that said, there's some sort of screening process um, for for folks. Um, real quick, let me get this. Meow, um, Meow Tech became a member. Thank you so much. Uh, and Amy asked, Cody, VTuber model, when? Hey, give me some money, man. I, like I said, I thought about there it. It go. seems fun. I think I might, I might one day. I, I'm, I'm working on moving, so I'd have to move first. But I don't know. I thought about it just because it seems, it seems fun. It seems like a fun thing to do. Not even for whatever. It's just, just jumping on, playing games, and doing a silly voice and playing a character. Kind of, yeah. Kind of. I've thought that. about it. I thought it's, it's crossed my mind. I'm not like you know, super, super going to be into it, but. I, it's it's on the table. It's not enough. Start off with like a free model, like I did. Uh, uh, I I'm too much of a, I'm an artist, perfectionist, I'm a, I'm a character designer. I'd have to make a character. I have to play. You the character. have to do it. You gotta have a story. You gotta have a backstory. Yeah, I gotta have I gotta have the kayfabe. The kayfabe's if it's not kayfabe, what are you doing? It's not VTubing. You could join Flavor. It's always possible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a girl. That's a problem. I'm on a deep. Look, the, the, I'm used to debuffing myself. Like if I true. if I become a VTuber, I'm a dude number one. It's like uh, I decided to get into making comics, but without right. doing a culture war YouTube channel. So I'm used to running on a debuff here. Yeah, that's 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 hard. That's really hard. That's really hard. Um, really quick though, let me let me show you guys um your guys stuff so that everybody can see. So obviously, Anime Outsiders, right? You got there. Got you guys yeah. there. Uh, got you guys site on Anime Outsiders here, here, and then this is your comic, right? Cloud Scratcher, Cloud right Scratcher, here. yeah, that's the that's the yeah. drop page. Um, cool. And uh, well, if if we're plugging me already, well, uh, I just I try to plug people at the beginning and at the end. Yeah. So I, I do a, I do a double yeah. plug. I got. Uh, do you have my bad, art? You know, you know what I mean. there? Um, it's in the description of the video. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I do. Okay, so I do a ton of stuff. I'm all over the place. Uh, anime yeah. Outsiders is just kind of a thing I made for people who like anime, but weebs are a bit too mm, for them. Um, we have a mm -hmm. Discord community if you want to just chat about nerd stuff and right. don't want to do the try hard, you know, with anything about being try hard, you know, culture war 24-7. Just come on and talk culture war if you want, but also we, we would like to talk about games and anime at some point. Uh, <laughs> it's a very important. Uh, we got Keep that. I got... Um, Cloud Scratcher, which is a web comic that is basically just me trying to make my own childhood cartoon. Like it's heavily based on '90s cartoons. Um, I started it as a side thing while I was pitching other comics, and then that ended up being the comic that people read. So I have yep. uh, I have a print version here. I even did I even did the uh, you can get this if you like the book. I even did it like a uh, you know the VHS releases, the old Disney afternoon stuff. Yeah, yeah, I even yeah. styled the book cover back front cover back cover like those uh those vhs collections just to keep the the bit going and Very uh cool. and it's and it's all ages friendly so hey you got kids you if you like stuff it's for got stuff for kids got stuff for adults and i got a book i'm working on and i'm gonna i'm gonna post him the link just so he could show my kick-ass cover um i got a book i'm working on too uh sanguine c cool. so if you're if the uh, the anthro characters just put you off too much, you can't stop thinking about the furries. Don't worry, I got you. Um, with this here, <laughs> with this book, um, it's, a, it's a fantasy mystery novel with a bit of a little political intrigue in a fantasy setting. Um, called Sanguine Sea over here. Yeah, and also it's got a goblin chick, so keep Valsh far away from it. I was yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. got a short stack goblin. goblin. Keep keep yeah. Valsh away. Uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> short stack goblins. <laughs> <laughs> does it have a horse though does it have a horse <laughs> i mean it's a fantasy setting so of course it has horses so I'm a little, oh, little no, no, yeah. oh no oh no, no vosh no, day no, one no, buyer no. uh disgusting <laughs> so yeah um i i announced pretty early in the writing process partially to keep it on people's minds but partially to keep myself at work because if nobody else but me knew i was doing it i might drag my feet so there you go art twitter uh buyer works b-a-i-e-r works um that's where i post my comics i post artwork including the topic at hand uh, perfect so pimp this well something i whipped up for pippa's birthday uh let me see let me get this whipped. let me get this popped up so this is uh your pippa birthday art that you kicked yep. up so here's your here's your cv here you know happy birthday pipkin pippa and it's a, it's a magical kill dozer. <laughs> pip dozer. I mean, pip dozer. I mean, pip dozer. It's just what I've always wanted. <laughs> okay, 
so yeah at buyer works uh, b-a-i-e-r works my comics my art funny. all that stuff's on there great um so, <laughs> hold on sorry not pissing i cannot absolve you mega based <laughs> very good very good um so that said, let me get this real quick. Jen, thank you for the 10 Legal Minds members. Appreciate you very much. Uh, thank you for supporting the channel and supporting us. Uh, Gator, I have a question from Todd. Gator, what's going on with the Wulu watermelon? Oh, he must be new. That is watame. That's a watermelon. It is, it is a watermelon. Tsunomaki watame. <laughs> Look her up. She's hollow live. And she's also uh, Pippa's Kamiyoshi. Oh, God. Does Pippa love her some watame? <laughs> someone, um, <laughs> someone at Hollow Fest posted a picture of of uh, a stand, a cardboard standee of uh, Watame, and put the little uh, their little pi their little Pippa uh, acrylic figure in front of it, and she loved it so much. Actually, she got a shout out from Watame recently. Oh, that's awesome! Wished her happy birthday. It was great. Yeah, I heard of that. I heard that. Uh, really cool. Really cool when you're when you're. When a heart, you're she had a heartwarming reaction too, which is like one yeah. of the things you gotta love about this VTuber scene too is just all the. All the wholesome like dreams There's coming so much through left stuff. and right. Love yeah. that shit. Just see that like, that whole reaction she had. Oh, got me right here, man. She handled it way Very better wholesome. than I would if like Pecora was like, get the game up, I'd die. I just yeah. die like on the spot, like, oh no, she knows who I am. Oh shit. Oh shit, hide, delete everything. <laughs> That's it, it's over. Uh, it's over. I'm I'm more. I'm more than just a fighting monkey. <laughs> oh god okay uh thank you uh rem for the uh, membership appreciate you appreciate you uh gator i stopped paying attention after a certain point is zidan still doing okay he was zidan yeah zidane. zidane's still doing great he still posts on twitter every now and then he's he's living his best life cool uh some of you may or may not know that the new meta for female streamers is to wear green shorts and green screen games on your butt you're welcome i saw this i saw this this is, is next level the stupidest goddamn thing I've ever oh. seen. In my life. <laughs> but it's kind of creative, though. It's a little bit creative, though. I'm not gonna lie. It's, I'm not it's, gonna it lie. Is, that is just. There's already an existing meme that's been around yeah. for years. Of I think it's it's probably from a dojin. Half half weeb memes are from a porn dojin of a girl yeah. lifting her shirt, going, "This is what men like, right?" And then you superimpose something on her tits. Video games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's the yeah. same thing, just with her ass. It's I I cannot. <laughs> Damn these women. I love it. I love it. Uh Face Connect exclusively hires for mental sounds. Oh, yes, it's it's proven. It's been here. Yeah, 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 for sure. Cody going for the shitty mic quality of Metacom. <laughs> oh, I, I thought it's much it's, better now. Is it better? Okay. Uh, yeah, because apparently <laughs> this this wonderful stream yard. So I got the, the blue snowball the cheap blue snowball here but the blue yeah. but the stream yard said no i i think what you really meant to do was you meant to stream the your the native microphone from your webcam <laughs> the shitty webcam mic gg stream yard you know what no, everybody my... loves mr medica god damn it no <laughs> mario don't go down that pipe <laughs> wait what okay whatever sparky said youtube yanked my card info i'm back i see a gator what's up uh let's see here um super borami says not paper related but did you see cover opening up a new hires for the u.s base i did not new hires uh the ula address was listed so it seems confirmed i sent your email earlier oh i will check that out but obviously we covered them opening an la office and i did kind of a deep dive on that so i'll look into that and i'll bring up uh the positions on the next um on the next uh stream um i love Chicago keeps california contained i love how antony pep for five euros says i managed to cap catch up with all your vods on the niji sanji case jesus christ that shows you how much i covered niji sanji that it took you this long to go because i believe you i believe you i stream so much on niji uh that it's probably close to 80 hours because is StreamYard only saves 40 hours or 50 hours at a time. So I have to constantly delete videos in order to like have them in the library backup. In my streams, I noticed I could only fit like four or five. And I'm like, okay, I'm streaming really, really long. So yeah. <laughs> this might lot. be another long one. So buckle up, buckaroos. <laughs> yeah. Um, Gordo says, I saw that a guy that makes a lot of Warhammer Fantasy Super Chat in her stream about two weeks ago. Uh, actually, actually, pancreas no work what 
we'll probably get into that, but Pippa tends to spread to a lot of different figures. Like you, you end up being surprised oh, yes. who knows Pippa and who, the, who's a fan. And it's like six degrees of Pippa, you know, it's yeah. like, it, it, it's even closer though. It's like three degrees to Pippa. Yeah. I, I heard someone say once and it stuck with me. She is the internet's VTuber. Yes. 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 She, she, she is the internet. Yes. Yeah. She's like the manifestation of 4chan and the internet. <laughs> Yeah. Um, get a hat for your hat, says Nick. Or sorry, says Nick Cruiser. Um, Emperor Creatine says Twitch's main problem is the staff takes the side of thoughts for promises. Hey, Elon, you know, it'd be a great addition to Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Promises, promises. Yeah. Um, VTuber Terror, 15 seconds. I think it's appropriate for this stream. Uh, no, no, uh, Regan, I'll put it on another stream, but we are clipped out, man. I've got so many clips for this show in fact i'll i'll, I'll do one there's too much bp way there's too much too much uh let's start with uh let's let's go with uh we've got so many good ones jeez i can't how do we even get as many pippa clips i'm not even sure anymore um let's start with mm, that one's too much uh oh this is good ari and tenma and pippa get roasted by their chat Oh, 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 you guys are so annoying. Is she I okay? She's, she's choking. Open. She's choking. You guys are so annoying. It's okay. <laughs> Shut up. It, it's just, uh, we're just like trying to show how much we love you. We're expressing our love by being the most annoying things in your life. You're doing a really good job. Thank you. We take pride in it. <laughs> what do horse hands even mean? <laughs> I mean, uh, you, should, you can go Google how horse hands look like. I don't have. I don't have hooves. <laughs> that's what you think. That's what you think. Uh, that's a good one. Very, very As good you, one. So, if you got Pippa clips, clip. I got a one. Do you have the one of Pippa and Tenma playing Bro Force? Uh, is it this one? <laughs> Is it because as, that uh, is the uh, one that I saw that clip and I'm like I am watching both of them. That, that is the clip that got me into Pippa and Phase Connect. I probably do, but if you don't want to put it in the, the private chat, I can confirm. Let me see if I can I find it. it. I okay, can't remember yeah. the title. That said, well, while you're while you're searching for that, I'll give a little basic introduction here. So what we're gonna do is, and what I did for this show is I went and looked through a lot of different uh, documentaries on Pippa to kind of find some of the biggest things about her some of the biggest controversies uh and i want to give a shout out to some of the great documentaries here uh that were recommended to me and recommended by the people so i'm on pippa so uh lord mollington did a good one here called pippa pipkin the most misunderstood menace in a vtubing very very good i'm going to use a little bit of his uh his stuff when it comes to flavor um and then uh someone suggested the good the bad and the rabbit by uh low effort clips this is a really, oh, so a really, was, really great one. A really, this really is, great um, one. This one was interesting because, uh, yeah. so I, I, I hang over a, um, a VTuber uh, discussion play, the Virtual Asylum, sure. uh, which is like, if if four chance too schizo for you, and like Reddit's a little bit too forced positivity, Virtual Asylum's like the perfect middle ground. Um. There was all kinds of clamor when this video came out because the idea was that the, the clipper was trying to insert himself. Uh, so I'm curious, like the, all you folks in chat, uh, what you all think about that? Because this guy, Low Ever Clip, he just clips stuff, and then he made this this elaborate, more elaborate kind of pseudo documentary for Pippa. And then there was this sort of, I guess you call it a debate of like, should the should the clipper uh, is is it almost like the 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 gimmick account that breaks character? Should the oh, clipper? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when the clipper is like is like breaking the fourth wall, like 
and becoming they're doing more thing. than clipping and like, Hey, it's me, the clipper. I just wanted to talk about X, Y, Z and let's go over this. And it's like, is that, does that annoy you? Or are you, are you the kind of like, is it like a gimmick account? You know, I'm just here for the gimmick yeah, I, or you're a clip channel. I'm just here for the clips, that kind of thing. I'm going to, I'm going to come out and say like, they're allowed to be a human. Like, I mean, like they're not, like, they're not reduced, I, think, I think some people like, see it as a, uh, some people like, see this like a ah, grifting, but like uh, like trying to oh I'm I'm I have a lot of eyes on me from the clips. I'm gonna try to get some attention for me. I think that's the position some people. Take. Well, that well that's their choice. And and guess what? Guess what will happen, Cody? If people don't like their personality, they won't watch that. This is me. They'll watch hmm. just the clip, right? Yeah. So they won't they they won't get rewarded for that. The the organically they'll be punished for that. So if if they were if they were doing bad stuff or doing things that people didn't like, they wouldn't actually um, they wouldn't actually watch. So just just won't click that video. They'll click another video. That's what happens normally. If I cover a topic, you know how I know it's a shitty topic or at least a not popular topic. Nobody watches the video. You know, like if I cover a video and, and maybe there's like three people that want me to cover it and they really want me to cover it, so I do it. And then nobody watches it. I'm like, well, that's a crappy topic. And I'm just not going to do that topic anymore because no one's interested in it, you know, and I'd rather cover stuff that more people are interested in. So it, it caters to more of the audience. So, yeah, I mean, look, I, I'm 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 pretty, pretty pro their autonomy here. So I, I see so. both sides. I don't care too much, but I thought it was interesting. And you know, I see the grip, little, little... I see the argument, right? As a yeah. lawyer, I can make a devil's advocate about the argument, right? You blow yourself up solely on somebody else's work. And then all of a sudden you break the fourth wall, yeah. you know? Uh, well, I, I get the to chat to chew on, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, thank you, uh, Archeite, for the one membership. By the way, Pippa has, Pippa has a wiki feed. I've seen it, and I wish I could unsee it. <laughs> Pippa <laughs> is the new Kevin Bacon. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Six uh, degrees Nick's, of Pipkin Pippa. <laughs> Nick says, some people are psychotic, and most of those psychotic people are part of Phase Connect. <laughs> or Pippa fan. Okay, you know what I said. Yeah. I said to some of the well, folks well the remember, remember, chat reflects the streamer. Well, well, tell me how much this might reflect Pippa. Uh, so there is a. I will not give his name, but there is a particular Pipkin Pippa fan that is mm -hmm. very enamored with her to the point where the people around him can't stand him because he won't talk like a normal human being, and he he decided to make a a tribute to Pippa and an offering to show his completely uh, wholesome love for her. He wholesome. made an effigy of Pipkin Pippa made out of raw meat no. and then did not understand <laughs> why everyone was no. very put off by this. No, people in the chat immediately know. The chat, knows. Yeah, yeah, the chat, chat, chat knows. knows. They know the chat lore. Is doxing this guy right. They know the meat the kin. Yes, they the know, meat yeah, kin. they know it. And they're like, they're like, no. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. and the, I, oh. not only is it horrifying to look at if you find an image of it, because it's not a good effigy, but it's good enough that you could tell where he's going with it. So it just kind of yeah. makes it worse. Uh, but then the fact that he's like, what? It's a completely wholesome expression of my love. Like, That's not what normal people do. Human beings don't act this way. Well, I got a, I got a reaction for this guy. It generates. You guys are the dinner lights. I couldn't put it better myself, Hachima. Very, very, very much on point there. Yeah, that's 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 bad. That's real bad. Uh, also, the last documentary I used was Remus documentary, The Controversial Rise of Pippa Pipkin. Uh, I'll use that for a little bit of an intro uh, there. So these three documentaries, I just want to give some love to. All of them did a great job. They're great creators, and I would uh, encourage you to support all of them. Uh, they're great, and we're subscribing. You can see I'm subscribed to all of these guys, so they're doing a great job. Um, all right, so let's get to the actual presentation. The high crimes, <laughs> Pippa Pipkin. She's on trial, guys. It's uh, death penalty here. She's found guilty, of course, and got ourselves a PowerPoint because you know I love PowerPoint. I love freaking PowerPoints. I'm a man of the PowerPoint. <laughs> uh, you are our very own Pippa Tenchi. The, the the fact that the fact that there's like legal PowerPoint templates makes me very happy. Like I'm like, oh, it's got scales. Nice, nice. Uh, so <laughs> we're gonna do it uh, real quick. Uh, Durna says I have comments with thousands of likes. I consider them free billboard space. A creator wants to branch out. Go ahead. Just don't go full angry Joe about it. 
I mean, that could be referring to so much shit he's done. That, that doesn't <laughs> say much. There's a lot yep. you could pot shot about Angry Joe. It's, it's... Uh, Val Rouge LaFox says, Osakai in his suicide clips with IRL skits made me love him. His fauna clips are peak IRL interaction. I love how you can't pronounce any of these VTuber names. Suicide. 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 Yeah, he's an A. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're, you have your JPLT level. What level are you in the JPLT, Cody? <laughs> <laughs> are, are, are you, it's not even. I can't even think of. Uh, maybe German does E I as I, but otherwise, it's all right. Oh well, no, there's 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 some there's some weird E I E I O's, baby. Uh, Just says, call her Suicune. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, gotta watch Pippa react to a whole new world cover with her and Medicare. It's a seven minute video, but you only need two thirty to be uh, to be the greatest part of it. That um, will definitely get you demonetized. Yeah, but it's great. Yeah. And, it was and, made by uh, would, Sparky. He does he does fantastic AI covers of people. I I am I think I told you uh, you guys weren't on the guests weren't on, but um, I, I told the chat I'm getting a historic number of <laughs> historic number of copyright claims nowadays that especially stuff playing like clips and other stuff like that. So yeah, if it's one that puts it at risk, I'd rather I'd rather not. Um, it really slows things down when I've got multiple copyright claims on a video because you have to individually edit each out and it takes time to re-upload each and every single one. And you lose really the chat annoying. every time it happens. Yeah, so I I, I want to try to avoid that. But thanks, I'll, I'll watch it offline. Um, so to get rid of the, the first thing, the first thing I got, the first charge against Pippa is unauthorized agency. And that is, of course, for flavor. I want to start by talking about flavor. Now, uh, I'm pretty sure mm -hmm. you guys are familiar with flavor, right? You guys are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Familiar with flavor. Okay, so. For those that may not know, that, that may need uh, a little bit of background here about this, this particular charge, um, we've got, I've got some uh, just background here for you guys to check out. And obviously, this is the agency that was created by uh, Pipkin Pippa. Uh, let me just close out all this other crash here. Uh, so you've got this started in 2022 so she started this in 2022 using ai assets right um so pipkin pipka of phase connect uh played the corrupt ceo where she generated character designs using novel ai uh, the popularity of this led to many of her viewers creating fake social media accounts for her talents in the agency itself prompting another stream four days later to react to its unexpected takeoff now to be clear, this ended up, well, getting so popular, there's literally a historical channel logging, you know, flavors <laughs> yeah. content here, which is still active to this day. And on top of that, getting to the point where the actual Face Connect members, well, they, you know, Tenma over here having to say every single, every single flavor member, stop interacting with me either here or on chat. Let the joke die naturally in peace. I will ban from my chat if this continues because it just was getting super annoying. So, yeah, I don't know what. Let me just start out with you guys. What is your thought on uh, flavor? I want to start with Gator, and then we'll we'll get Cody in here. I never would have expected that flavor would have taken off like it did. You, you, like you know, you have those streams every once in a while where it's just like a one-off thing where you're just kind of being funny. It's like, oh yeah, you know, I'll just make some fake ai vtubers you know it's not going to be a big deal everybody's going to have a good laugh you know haha i made this fake imaginary company that's you know crow company it's the, the black company uh right. you know no one's no one's gonna no one's gonna like care about this it's just gonna be forgotten in like a week maybe people down the road will be like oh yeah that was such a funny stream and it yeah. took on a life of its own and, and that's what's so fun about pippa is that you never know when something crazy that she does just kind of has its own life and just like becomes a new meta. Like she streamed, right. uh, like, like, like here she streamed Class of 09 and then Pippa did it and then it just like took the VTubing world by storm. Yeah. I think, I think Flavor was, it was a great and fantastic idea. You know, the only, you know, and it created a lot of, uh, interesting VTubers that kind of got their start from it. You know, took the characters yeah. and ran with it. You know, but of course, you know, when you do stuff like that on the internet, there's always going to be a, a, a dark side, a bad side. And I think, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we saw, we saw just a little bit of that. 
and and mm -hmm. some people tried to blame Pippa. It wasn't Pippa's fault. Uh, that, the, that's the internet yeah, that's 100 not does. on her directly. Yeah. But I think the people that that still like like that took flavor and are still like doing it today, like the the actual like characters, I think they're fantastic. Like it, it's it's kind of cool that Pippa was kind of able to create this like whole new platform for all of these talented people, and, and gave them characters and kind of gave them the inspiration. It's like, hey, stick with it. You could be something awesome. And I saw you know one of them got invited to a VTuber convention as that character, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah um cody what do you think about flavor? I, on flavor I can't say i'm too surprised this happened because pippa's audience it's it's that mix of those those the internet shit post types yes so yes the when she goes and uh, okay we're gonna do a fun ai art stream we're gonna make up a fictional vtuber agency it's like as she's doing it you can almost start to think like someone's gonna think it's funny to actually do this. And Pippa's audience is that kind of audience where it's like, if someone thinks it's funny, they'll do it. So it was almost predictable that this would happen. What was crazy is that it got as big as it did, but there was one part in particular I found hilarious. And is that Senna Bonbon bon was a real person <laughs> because <laughs> one of the, one of the ones she made was Senna Bonbon. Bon. It was like, uh, the, she's the 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 big boobed girl who's really into DIY and Home Depot and and building things. And there was a real girl who was a real fan of Pippa watching that stream and actually went, "Oh my God, she's literally me for real, for real." <laughs> so, she, so she went and just adopted the Santa Bonbon bon character because that's who this girl is in real life. Some chick who's mm -hmm. really into handiwork, really into tools. And making stuff with wood and has big tits. So it was like, like spot on. It was like that spot was on. literally a real person. She just figured out, just accidentally deduced that this was not only a real person, but one of her fans. That was the best part for me. And Chef's I, kiss. and then the, the I, it's the wholesomeness of Nana Banana is is. Like the perfect sequel to that, because then she did a joke second wave with Ponko, and one of them I don't even know if it was originally Nana Banana, because I remember seeing Nana sixty nine, and I don't know if that which one came first and which one was a joke on that or what. But uh, and you had someone that uh, used that as their character because they had. I mean, she said it recently. She wanted to do it, but didn't have the, didn't know what angle to take, and then she saw that flavor stream and it clicked, and now she's doing. Mm -hmm. She's doing streams and she's doing well for herself. And she is the sweetest goddamn girl. Like great stream. She's comfy. She's adorable. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna give her a head pat. And it's that whole uh, I'm gonna watch it. I actually haven't seen her stream. So now you're like convincing me right now. And Nana Banana is a is a fuck like you know that that I think it was what was it community of parks and recs, one of those like I've only yeah, known sure. this. The, 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 like, uh, if anything else happens to this, uh, per, uh, this cute thing, I will kill everyone else in the room and then myself. Like, <laughs> that, that's Nana Banana. Like, she's Pretty like, much, yeah. precious little fucking cream puff. I swear to God, if anyone ever offends you, I'll, I'll, I'll kill him with an RPG. Like, paternal instincts, man. It's just I'm going to hop in the pip dozer and it's on. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, I don't know who this, this person is a complete stranger to me, but I will protect them with my fucking life, man. <laughs> uh, so let me let me let me give some legal stuff that I was thinking about with this, because I actually did have to like there's some there's some law in here. So I thought about it. And this is kind of interesting because it kind of I mean, we'll talk about the AI stuff in a second. And I'm kind of separating that out, although it is related to flavor. But in regards to her creating a quote unquote agency. And like the things that flow from that, because she was a part of Phase Connect, there's an argument that anything that she creates as an employee of Phase Connect is also Phase Connect. It's a derivative work, right? So therefore, it's Phase Connect. And because it's Phase Connect, Phase Connect has some liability to control it, some liability to keep it from getting into trouble, some liability to manage it, right? So like, there's some crazy legal argument that if one of these flavor people 
got into any trouble, disputes, et cetera, that it could blow back on FaZe. Now, I don't think it would go to Pippa directly because, you know, it's it's the company. She's with the company. It would go to FaZe. And that's probably the point, and this is probably the thing, I, I think Sakana, when, when he was thinking like uh, like this clip here. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in favor of uh, execution. Maybe Maybe our entire team needs to be executed after tonight. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that clip like speaks to what he was probably thinking when this was brought to his desk, when it's like, yeah, one of your talents just created a sub agency. <laughs> that is a, that is that is technically a nightmare. Now, look, it hasn't played out in any bad way. And I think ultimately it would be fine. There's a lot of counter arguments here, but it does create a nice uh, like an interesting question, because technically with any agency what you create is your property as well so there's this like this thought experiment in there um that that goes down that line it's 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 very very interesting and i i think i don't think sakana would make an issue of it i don't think phase would make an issue of it they seem to be pretty cool about these type of things but that said they're still a company right <laughs> they're still a company <laughs> I think there so, was the, they were pretty smart. Pippa was pretty smart too. Like as soon as this was starting to blow up, there was a lot of like I don't think Faze, Faze didn't say anything, but Pippa was like, "Hey, this is out of my hands." It was just a, it was just a stream yeah. jokey thing. It was just a shit right. post. I have nothing to do with post, this, right? Yeah, it was a shit post. Which yeah. she, she but, like was supportive of what it the good that it brought, while while keeping the the people that don't know when to stop a joke. From going too far because right. there was a lot of people that thought like uh, like associate themselves with flavor and then just kind of thought they were part of face connect like yeah. they were almost v tweeting their way into face connect in their head uh yeah but and, and and there's and there's that's the that's the kind of parasocialism side where like if you're gonna say there's any sort of negative it probably would be on that side but that's on you know people who might assume they're now friends with somebody you know and they're not right like be like right. oh yeah we're bfs and like no but like really we're not though like, yeah exactly yeah, yeah. so there she was she was pretty smart and a lot of pretty smart just kind of early on um to, hey distance yeah it's great what flavor is doing to help folks like Senna and Yana, but some y'all no look, I, I take, I, I disavow, I disavow. And, uh, and, and still hasn't like, like, Oh, I'm not doing flavor anymore. Cause it went crazy. Like she just recently did an AI stream and did like a couple bonus flavor members. So she's, she's see, still, this, see yeah, generic wolf. You're getting my, you're getting my question here. You're getting my question here. So generic wolf says legally who owns flavor? Novel AI gives the rights to the person who generated. <laughs> and then Pippa made it public domain. But FaZe Connect owns Pippa, so the IP belong to FaZe Republic. Here's the interesting legal question. This is very interesting. Pippa has no right to make it public domain because she doesn't own her own IP. Pippa cannot make her own IP. She doesn't have the authority to make her own IP public domain. She can make now, but she could make something that's not uh, related to her work ip that's outside of her work but if it's work product if it's something that's a, you know a work made for hire or something that's in the course of her work duties and her work duties involve v tubing it could be ruled as phase connects property this is what i'm saying it's a complicated legal question just because it hasn't been brought up because it hasn't been like they haven't had a member of flavor that made a million dollars doesn't mean it couldn't come up later right it's a just it raises a very interesting question and you guys may see this come up with other uh, other companies and you, you might see other people making a big deal about this and really being Nazi about their IP, probably because of, of, you know, this scenario saying, well, we don't want another flavor situation, right? This is why I think for a lot of things, Pippa is ahead of the curve, right? Like she's predicting things that are going to come down the line. So I think a lot of companies might look at flavor and be like, well, we don't want that happening because it creates all these, these legal gray areas. And we don't want to go there. We want it to be very, very clear. Okay, we own X, you own Y. This is us. This is them. Uh, so I think a lot of other agencies like Hollow or even Niji, they don't want anything to do with a <laughs> flavor type situation. Well, Niji's already basically said that anything that you create as that that creator, as that VTuber, they own. Even well, that's the like contract, songs. Yeah. yeah. Like, but like, let's say like hypothetically that Selen was to make like a fake VTuber company or whatever. I guarantee you Niji would have said, no, we own that. We own all of that. And and, and I and and they have an argument. And they have an actual argument yeah. to that because they have that in their contract. And honestly, there's nothing that's 
you know, unless there's something in Japanese law, but in terms of like American law, you know, uh, general Western law, it would be very difficult to debate that. They'd have a really strong argument that they that Niji Sanji would own it. Um, and of course, you know, you know, we're also making assumptions about whatever. FaZe's contract because we don't know the specifics. We just kind of know the the general. Yes, that's that's true. Um, but um, that said, um, I um, like that said, we don't know that we don't know the contract. So we're making some assumptions, but I assume there's certain general provisions, right? Yeah, it would be you would almost it would have to guarantee almost. And we do have, a, a, you know, we have confirmation. They do indeed have a contract. And there's a lot of clips. In fact, I have a clip about FaZe talking about the contract and Sakana talking about the contract as well. I played one previously with Pippa talking about the contract. So it seems like people are pretty happy with it. So it seems to be a pretty fair contract. But we, I haven't seen it. I have not seen a FaZe contract. Uh, underscore Null became a member. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, as well, uh, yeah, became a member. There you go. Gotcha. Uh, let's get a couple of these. Um, oh, yeah, got that one. And then here we go. Phoenix DS, DS says, Pippa creates a VTuber agency within a company, a classic rabbit hole within a rabbit hole. Rabbit holeception. Can't stop laughing when she did that. Stay that was, away. That was Stay away from the holes. But yeah, and, the, and here's the thing. Uh, and I think this was said by Lord Mollington um, is it is crazy that essentially a 4chan yabbit with like just some free time was able to create an agency that can outperform like MBAs and shit that are out there with their seed money and, you know, their, their giant budgets that create, you know, because many people create agencies, right? And they fail. There's a lot of little small agencies that end up failing, tanking, whatever. And this yabbit was able to go out there and just throw together essentially an agency. Like if she'd taken it seriously and actually like, was like no i'm really gonna form my own agency she probably could have done it like she, she i think she does know the industry well enough to actually do it that's that like, meme I mean, magic they talk about all the time she just yeah. memed and foof memed it in the pippa reality. yeah pippa btfo'd akio air and vocker <laughs> at the same time yes <laughs> yes akio um, hair yeah <laughs> for sure um so let me get this other one here. Nick says, uh, welcome to the cult of Andrew, new green folk. Grab a floppy hat and some Kool-Aid. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Mazi for 20. Thank you so much, brother. Appreciate the support of the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, make sure you have gift memberships uh, turned on and throw some M's in the chat. I think, Muzzy. Um, Hi, guy, Nikki says, like Coco... <laughs> Cocaine, co cocaine, and it's Andrew me. Rainbow, Johnny, 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 Johnny. Come get your V. <laughs> yeah, those are derivative products, obviously, and like that's that's that that would be they could be claimed by the agency they're under, right? Um, Angry Joe, don't you mean perturbed Pablo, beleaguered Benito, <laughs> razzled Rojas, molding Martinez, seething Santiago, aggravated Antonio? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was just Slav thinking Kaniki. of all the ones he could the whole time we were talking Slav Kaniki uh, says your honor legal mindset I hope you have low effort clips version of Wiki people's wiki feet no I no we've already played this we're not going down the feet hole okay uh, Sparky's deck quarter says yes YouTube hates my AI covers Pippa specifically unmonitors stream to react to it many more I feel bad for Leah at Lilham on Big Iron but thanks, I know both Medicare and Pippa love them. No, I, I love your covers. I just don't like getting demonetized when I'm currently monetized. So <laughs> thank you, Sparky. I appreciate you. And, and everyone always complains. They're like, legal mindset, where are all your chats going? Are you deleting your chats? I'm like, no, that's like literally YouTube takes it away when you edit the video, which I have to because it's over a certain length, so I can't mute it. Um, Anthony says you can't charge Pippa as a leader of Pakistan. She has diplomatic immunity. <laughs> uh, Bitwolf says it's funny that flavor became real. Several flavor VTubers were invited as guests of, to off. -Kai. Really? Yes. Yeah. To off. Is that Expo. real? Yes. Here, I'll bring yeah, the, the tweet out for you. Yeah. Can you, yeah, Gator, can you find that? Like we're off -Kai officially asked them as member in their capacity yes. as members of flavor. That's actually kind of nuts. I think it's fantastic how there are people that like, I want to be a VTuber, but I don't know. Oh, uh, I don't have like an idea in mind or whatever. And then just flavor came along. It's like that, especially Senna. 
yeah. like it really did just give so many talented streamers a jumping off point. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah. God damn, I love V2, man, because that, that kind of it's, fucking it's wholesome it's, fucking dreams it's come crazy. true shit, man. I love that. So I can't Pippa, get enough of it. Pippa could be, Tony, I, I'm not making this up. I'm not being hyperbolic. That literally could be case law in regards to 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 this because you got to understand like this area like this is not something that's been touched right people don't understand this and this is why i say vtubing is so fascinating to me because there are literal unresolved legal issues that are gonna come up there's also stuff like cross i think what vtubing is really going to get issues is when it gets to some serious cross-border issues cross-border litigation right where people are going to have to consider okay what's going on are we gonna you know enforce these labor contracts because now we're having all these labor contracts that are cross border and people are going to, you know, people are trying to enforce the laws of Japan on someone who's in Canada or someone who's in uh, the U S or Australia or wherever else. And, you know, it's just not going to fly, but it's, it's, it's whole, creating this precedent. It's a whole new business. It's a whole new medium. Yeah. So like we're kind of seeing... argue, you can argue that a VTuber who works for a Japanese company, but they're working online is really working in Japan. Unless they're a contractor, I guess. Wouldn't that? Wouldn't that? Uh, well, the thing is, with a contractor, with a contractor, contractors, it's really it's super complicated because with a contractor, you have to have non-exclusivity, but every single VTubing contract has exclusivity, which is something that typically defeats being a contractor. It's very complicated. It's not that simple. See, uh, this is why you're popping off. That's interesting shit. <laughs> it is. It is. It's like. It's like. This is not a simple analysis. It just hasn't gone to court. People haven't, and like, can you imagine? A, and I know you're anime boomers here, so shout out to the boomers. But like, it like it is it is a boomer. It's it, imagine some like hyper boomer, silent generation judge that's out there trying to be like, and and what are we talking about here? We got ourselves. Uh, we got ourselves some of those animu girls on the, on the tubes. Like they're just trying to get un and understand this and and you know figure it out. It might be a big issue uh, with judges because they tend to be older and kind of not understand. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully we can elevate the conversation and 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 and, and generate some uh, some consensus as well within the community on the way they should be handled. Right. Um. Sno Sinso Sinsoka said. I watch more flavor than any other agency. <laughs> Always something that fits my mood. And where else am I going to see three people using the same VTuber identity, each with their own spin? Uh, yeah, that's that's why that's why the the Kino lime in here because uh, you know she's got like what two or three permutations right here, right? One's a dude, um, yeah. Yeah, one's, yeah, a, one's a dude. It's a German man, I think. <laughs> yeah, one's a German man. Yes. <laughs> so there's like there's like multiple versions. Right. There's yeah, there's multiple versions. Um, there's Lola May and Brola May. <laughs> Brola May and Lola May. Yeah. Uh, we understand more about space and non baryonic dark matter than we do about VTube law and what precedents may be set. You're not wrong. You're <laughs> literal right. We literally know more about like dark matter right now than VTube law. <laughs> Very true. Uh, the fact Ofkai dropped Niji Sanji but invited members of an originally intended parodied black company <laughs> is beautiful. <laughs> it's like poetry. It rhymes. Oh, God. I think we got to – I think I got to play that. Hold on. There's a clip for this. There's a clip for this, guys. There's a clip for this. Hold on. It's one minute and 20 seconds. It is with Pipka Pipkin and Fillion entitled Pip What Cup is Pipkin? – Whatever. Whatever. You just dedicated to fucking her name up. Minimal in a black company. Oh, what does that mean? So, so there's like really shady companies and yep. stuff, right? Yep. Where they, where, where, like, <gasps> so I, I would put her, I would put her in like criminal, in like a criminal company. Okay. Why is it called yeah. a black company? It's like a, it's like a Japanese whenever, 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 term. Why are they having sink the yacht? Whenever, what does that even whenever, mean? What does that even mean sink the yacht? <laughs> why are they typing that? Huh? Want to bring up a false ID video? <laughs> what is sinking a yacht? <laughs> Oh, what? oh, false? No, I don't want them on my stream right now. I'll, I'll look for the VTubers next year. Hey, Gideon, Hi. have you heard of this old tuber named Ducky Bird coming back soon? Oh, yeah! You should totally collab with them sometime. Yo, Chad! Do you guys hear the new VTuber on the block? 
Her name's uh Doki Bird. It wasn't working, but you um, couldn't hear it. I haven't met her before, but I think it'd be really sick nasty to hang out you with her. So you know, I can I, I can feel like an astral way. entwining between us. Maybe we should hang out and have fun together. All right. You finish so, chapter three yet? so Zoomer right now. <laughs> Doki Bird, after her debut, a video I plan on just let her know, I, you know, I just have a little channel. inkling that maybe we should hang out. Just let her know from me, chat, okay? Maybe she'll agree, maybe not, but yo, send it over to her. Doki Bird, you're pretty sick nasty. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your debut. <laughs> <laughs> so and going. they did hang out, and they it was awesome. Awesome, awesome. Um, let me get this. Uh, Pippa Love, Glowy Gate. <laughs> glowy Hate, I think he meant. Glowy Hate. Oh, sorry, sorry. Glowy Gate. Oh, go ahead. Hate, go ahead. Hate. It's a good game. Probably being go ahead. Um, Bear says most of flavor members drop their flavor tag sometimes back, possibly due to issues, possibly because they were asked to by, uh, uh, if probably asked to by Sakana or uh, Pippa saying, Hey, like, can you like not? Um, Andrew Clark says, We all know Andrew is coding the food, food on No, no. Uh, Harry's dog says, Yay, I can hear Cody now. Um, Let's see here. Gator. Oh, no, I don't. No. We're not going to do that. That's later. That's for later. Um, no, <laughs> that's spoiler. for later chapter. I don't that's name pop up on that one. <laughs> later topic on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, flavor also shows people, uh, shows that people would join an agency knowing they have a bad manager. Yes, yes. Um, okay. Generic Wolf says, wait. So wait. Technically, flavor Technically, flavor VTubers are infringing on Phase's IP. What happens if you don't defend an IP? Are you still liable? That it's once again novel law, right? So it could be that they are considered to have abandoned that IP, right? And they've taken sufficient steps by by stepping away from it, by disclaiming it, saying they've kind of abandoned that IP. It's possible. Um, a judge would have to look at that if this came to a legal, if this came to a court case. Like, I can't tell you the answer because it's a new, unique area of law. And also anything involving AI has really not been flushed out. It, it's, it's something they haven't talked about. Um, so I'll get one more thing on one or two more things on flavor, and then we're going to move on to the next topic. Uh, so let's see. Uh, Nyana, Nana has done a few collabs with Pippa recently. Is that true? Yes. yes. Yeah, they did. A, um, oh, awesome. Nyana was doing, I think it was a donothon. Pippa was there for a little while. Um, cool. I thought it was kind of funny. There was a moment they were playing Mario Kart, and Nyana tried to make like sneak in a very heartfelt uh, message of love for Pippa without like say like, mm -hmm. oh my favorite YouTuber is this, and it was clearly Pippa. And Pippa just sidestepped that compliment. <laughs> Did like like just <laughs> just just completely matrix dodged oh, all I, the I've wholesome the... vibes of being sent her away. Like nah, fuck you. <laughs> I've got the I've got the Pippa cannot take a compliment clip I think somewhere in here so it's, it's it might yeah, be it's, that one I don't I don't know what uh, it's that, in that here clip is, it, that that moment just stuck out to me it was funny she can't take any compliment mm -hmm. um, Potato Radio said Pippa even mentioned Bird Prisoner for Bird at least the animated version is now technically owned by Figs. <laughs> Pippa recently collabed with Nana Nana did a rendition of Pippa the Ripper and talked about Pippa after singing it was very wholesome Oh um, Minoski Reactor. Said, if you want the most, shout out to the Gundam fans. Um, if you want most accurate description of Pippa's controversy with flavor, a good source is Moonshine's documentary, Suck the Pee Pee. Oh, like the thing I have pulled up uh, here. Gotcha. Um, it's seven It's seven minutes, though. So I was saving that one for like later. And I know that only four of those are, are um, stuff, but I, I've got that one pulled up for a little bit later. So I will get to that one uh, later in the show. Shadow Knight says, so I looked. A bit of Nyana. Nyana 69 was the original name, and Nyana Banana was the rebrand when she made it more of her own thing. Okay. Okay. Because I remember the 69, but it was like X E X T9, and I thought that was funny. <laughs> uh, like, yeah. I guess, like, okay, because I missed that stream. So, like, okay, I guess that was supposed to be their like Twitch thought VTuber of flavor, and then, mm -hmm. and then Nyana ended up becoming like it. super, super incredibly wholesome. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the crazy part. <laughs> like complete uh, 180. Wild Cade said Pippa's innovation forces the industry to adapt to her successful content and handle her unique ideas. That's kind of the theory here with all of these issues. You're going to see like each and everything that Pippa's brought up, it, her edginess, her pushing the boundary, 
causes her to raise these questions before they come up with the broader community of VTubers. Like the point of, and this is also with comedy, right? Comedy is pushing boundaries. And like by pushing boundaries, you're actually causing people to answer or ask really important questions. And these, there's some really important legal questions that she's making people, you know, ask and then adapt to. And it's good if they look at this and they laugh and we're like, all right, we're laughing about this, but like, you know, let's fix this in the future. Right. Let's, let's, let's tighten this up. I think that's a, well, that's a it, smart. It's thing. interesting. Cause, um, well, for, I, I always thought well, a big part of her appeal is that she's edgy, but she just nails that perfect right on the line, like the Robin Hood arrow shot going right through the other arrow, like that kind of perfect of like edgy and kind of you buy without going overboard. Mm -hmm. She never comes off as try hard, never comes off as like it's a bit too much. It's always just right in that sweet spot where it's just as edgy as you want. Before it stops being fun, it just it right then right like the the shoot up a Walmart clip that everybody knows like that was because she was raging at the video game so it was a funny yes. rage reaction but then her catching herself and then like turning off the rage immediately just to go in Minecraft like yes yes that's the kind of stuff where it's like she is she is off and that's part of the fun but uh, but she doesn't go like you see on Twitch she's I, aware I she's self aware of, of it. Yeah, I've been shitting a lot of the Twitch VTubers a lot this dream. Yeah. But you see, like, when you go too far in the edgy, too far in the pushing boundaries, you get a lot of the some of the stuff you see on Twitch where it's like, this is just not fun anymore. This just feels like you're best desperate for attention. So this is actually, so we were going to have, I was, I asked Kirsha to come on, but she was working today, but she did have a line and I want to, I want to, that was a good time for me to, to say that the message from Kirsha for today uh, which was, you know, she wanted to join. She would have joined. She would have had tons of fun. But she said, um, you know, about Pippa, Pippa just likes to be able to do whatever she wants. That includes being edgy, sticking up for her friends and laughing at people who want to ruin fun of any kind. And I'm like, that is so true. Um, yeah. You know, people want to make her into more than that. But like, those are the core values. And uh, I 100% uh, can feel that. Yeah. And that's what um, it should be about having, you know, defending your friends, having fun with your friends and not taking the Internet too seriously, because, look, there's there's a lot of bad stuff out there. But if you focus only on the bad, it just makes you a miserable person. Just have fun. 100 percent. 100 percent. Also, uh, it, it's funny that we didn't get Kirsha because, like I said, I, I, I hang over at the virtual asylum and the guy that runs the virtual Jeez. asylum is a gigantic Kirsha simp. And I would have loved to hold that. Over <laughs> oh, I, I've had her on. I've had her on <laughs> with me and she wants to she's going to come back on at some point. We got a lot more to talk about. But um, so I'm going to have her on <laughs> again. I'm, I'm almost I'm, I almost want to bug you to have me on with her at the same time. It, just for that. Just so maybe, I can go back maybe, to maybe, maybe, Cody, maybe, 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 if you're good, Guess if you're good. To. Guess I'll yeah, talk does, to the, does the owner of TVA own a giant Kirsha cube? Because I do. <laughs> oh, uh, he, I probably he probably does. He probably does. Hayden, for 50, thank you so much, Hayden. Appreciate you. You said Andrew slept like four hours. Actually, spoiler alert, I didn't sleep. Um... <laughs> I just stayed up getting ready for the show, packing, getting ready to go. So I, I did not sleep at all. I'm going to sleep after the stream. Yeah, I know it's daytime here in Asia, but I'm going to sleep uh, for a little bit. And then uh, my flight is really early in the morning. So, you know, I want to be like, you just sleep on the flight. Go. No, I cannot sleep. I'm fucking six foot six. I can't sleep on a goddamn flight, especially in, in Asia. Are you kidding me? Are you a madman? Um, <laughs> Andrew slept four hours. It's great. Uh, he was in the depressed Usagi stream for a while. It makes me question. No, yeah, that's why I didn't sleep. Pippa <laughs> did not, uh, did not, I think, wrong. Take your breaks. Also, Hollow Fifth Fest is probably worth checking out. Corona did a no hands cartwheel. Oh, I saw that. That's it. it was sick. That was incredible. Cool. She, cool. she's Corona is a beast, man. Like, she, she, uh, I, I will always have a soft spot in my heart as a gigantic Mega Man nerd. For her mm -hmm. singing Can't Defeat Airman on like the first major Hollow Live concert <laughs> and the bass thing I've ever seen. And then and then during that is when she did the big cartwheel that everybody was freaking out about. So awesome. Uh absolutely unfathomably based dog. Unfathomably yeah. based. Pippa also has a banger of an original song. Pippa the Rip. Yeah, did you watch What's the intro, Pat? Pat the original? Yeah. <laughs> Go rewind. Go rewind. Uh, funny Pippa's story. Never... Um fake and that's what I went to, uh, yeah for sure Bob Kane for sure go ahead get her I went to uh, anime Matsuri in 2022 uh and I wanted to I, I had to oh, yeah, we were there yeah 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 we yeah, were there I, I hung out with you 
I was in the uh, the the line for the for the Vic Mignogna like for the Vic Mignogna thing, and uh, I got him to actually listen to Pippa the Ripper and give Pippa a shout out back in 2022. Crazy. It was, I know. It, I, like I told you, she's the center of the universe. We were yeah, all merely the, players. There was the it wasn't it wasn't twenty it was twenty twenty three. I was there. I remember uh, Gator. We were at Vic's panel. If you remember, some dude with just spaghetti coming out of every pocket in his clothing <laughs> gets up and tries to test Vic Mignogna. So, have you ever heard of a, a, a VTuber by the name of uh, Pipkin Pippa? And and he, he, Vic looked like someone like that guy got up and just started speaking Esperanto like. <laughs> <laughs> a what like a pipkin pippa she's a vtuber i don't a vtuber what is that that yeah yeah, like, yeah, yeah yeah there is something pippa's fan base has this thing where they just feel the need to spread pippa like she's final fantasy 14 like have you heard about the gospel of pippa you know yeah like, like have you heard about the <laughs> award-winning vtuber named pipkin pippa with a with a uh uh, the, the war women expansion flavor that lasts up to whatever the whole copy pasta. <laughs> That's great. That's really great. Um, I'll get this. Uh, Muzzy says, glory to Pakistan. Pink Yabbit, best dictator. I love when either Kirsha or Mari Mari makes Pippa's brain melt when they drop some cursed knowledge. It takes it takes a lot, like especially for, for like, you know, for Pippa to be shocked by something. It, it, it takes a lot. So I have a lot of I have mad respect for Kirsha uh, to being able to do that. Now, I, have, I need to see more Mari Mari clips doing that. That's, Mari that's Mari is cool. hilarious. <laughs> fantastic so we got some questions which bring us to our next topic uh which is from uh sinsoka which says and uh there's actually two from sinsoka and bronze lamp uh as sketch therapy points out sakana got novel ai to sponsor one of pippa's streams and we got new flavors and then when you got bronze uh lump who said did you know a, pa a possible three gen of flavors coming with a recent novel ai yes. stream she so made let's ones. let's go here to the second the second controversy which is indeed a controversy which is ai art God, right so crap. ai art which goes hand in hand with flavor now cody you're the artist here but i just want to summarize the 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 controversy and this is actually the pippa discount code for uh for um novel ai uh, which is still good. It's still good today, guys. It's valid until March 19th. No, hashtag not sponsored. Not sponsored by Novel AI. This stream is not sponsored by Novel AI. But, um, and this is a stream where she was creating using Novel AI. Um, so, yeah, this is controversial because, well, a lot of people just don't like AI, right? And um, I didn't understand this, but, uh, you know, I, I've gotten emails from, you know, at least one or two artists that really are fervently anti AI. So there's, there's a real, like a real need to, I guess, prosecute folks for AI. And now that she's done this uh, official collaboration with novel AI, um, there's some concerns about that. Um, so Cody, I want to, I want to drop the floor to you first as the artist, but what you think about AI and, and what you think about the, the potential AI controversy. Here. Well, I have a, a few thoughts about AI, so I might end up kind of going on a bit of a spiel here. Uh, but my my big thing is I feel, as an artist, if you are afraid of AI, that is because you should be. Because I've dicked around with AI, because, you know, this is supposedly my competition. I should I should learn this and figure it supposedly. out. Supposedly. Yeah. And um, this is no threat to a real artist at all. Um, if you have any kind of creative vision or ability and any kind of artistic skill, uh, this is no threat to you. If your entire career as an artist is to just, let's say, draw the flavor of the month anime main character girl naked, yeah, it's a threat to you, and it should be. Uh, you're not an artist, you're an illustrator. Uh, if, if what you do is basically just, I draw popular characters standing there, but I put a lot of detail in it. There's a lot of brushwork. Look at all these layers in Photoshop. Uh, and yeah, I'm not, I'm not discounting that. Like if you're good at Photoshop, but if you're right. good at Photoshop is your primary thing and your, your main output is just cheesecake or character standing there, but it's really detailed. And yeah, AR art is a threat to you and it should be. Maybe now you'll have to go out and learn how to draw something creative and Chad something is, memorable. Is, 
Chad yeah, uh, something that'll, that'll, that'll you know, uh, merit you being called an artist instead of just, uh, oh, yeah, here, I drew Freerin. Uh, she's standing <laughs> on, a, on a cliff and she's looking to the left and there's some wind blowing. So her hair goes and uh, 10,000 likes. Uh, you know, that, it, yeah, AI is going to be a threat to you. But if you can draw some really cool dynamic shit with some angles and something's going on and it's like memorable, it makes me, man, I see this. And now I'm thinking about how much I love the thing. Like AI art is no threat to you. And if you're an artist, AI art can be a boon. I just think about the stuff I do. I, I do comics. I, I wish I could do more because I have like a thousand different stories in my head. And I only have so much time to, I mean, I'm, I can only do two right now. And I've got like 20 up here. And it's frustrating because I want to do them all at once. But with AI, I mean, hell, I could just sketch Cloud Scratcher. And then the AI could color it. And then I could do something else. And the AI could color that. You can use AI as a tool the same way that like Photoshop is a tool. Clip Studio Paint is a tool. The AI can help you too. The AI can let you expand your work the ways that you can't even calculate. You could just, you could do so much with it if you're sitting here with this Luddick idea that, oh, AI bad because, well, it's trained from other artists who didn't ask for it. Okay, here's an idea. If you think that the training of the AI, oh my God, it's going to ruin it for other artists. Here's an idea. Uh, go into novel AI right now and put in a prompt and then add into that prompt Akira Toriyama. Uh, yeah, see if anyone's going to confuse that with a real Akira Toriyama drawing. The answer is yeah, probably no. going to be no. Because Nobody. no one's going to confuse an AI for a real art, even without the telltale stuff like hands. Like, yes, it looks good. And I could see why you're scared in that respect. Like, again, if you're just, if you have no real creativity, only skill, then yeah, it's a threat to you. But if you have creativity, if you have artistic ability, if you, if you have vision, you have nothing to worry about. And now you have all these options available to you. You could draw a thousand pictures in a day with AI and you should be jumping for joy for that. I know I am. I am waiting for the moment where they perfect this for comics. Are you kidding me? I'm going to be putting out like 20 <laughs> comics a day. The moment that this thing lets me, but, so, but that's that, the, but the prerequisite for that is creativity and also, and also knowing what to do, knowing how to use it, how to implement it. Right. So there's, there's not like, it's not like anybody, it's not like, okay, just, you know, uh, uh a random, a random, uh, let me just let me pull my clip here. Like a random monkey <laughs> can walk in off the street and just create, you know, this masterpiece art using AI, right? That's not what's going to happen. And that's not how it's going to work. And it's never going to come for those folks. that. And I see some skills. concerns with like, let's say an artist. I, 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 and I, I saw in the chat, like the one thing I saw and it, it kind of moved by quick was, well, there's a concern about the companies, you, you know, training using artists AI. Okay. Well, that's not a fundamental like that's not an issue with AI. It's an issue with the company, right? And what they're using to quote unquote train their AI, right? I mean, that can be solved. They kind of do that already. They hire people, right. but it's like, oh, you, I need to whip up a promotional image for one piece. Am I going to hire, ask Atra Oda himself to do this promotional image? No, I'm going to get somebody that can draw like him. Uh, they'll just do AI for the same thing. Uh, right. That's that's kind of what I'm saying. Where the only people really at threat here are the people that are just illustrators. Um, mm -hmm. the, I can see some concerns of like plagiarism, like, oh, I took a sketch from an artist and then used AI to color it and said it was my own. But as I, as the technology develops in the public eye, I think that's what's going to help prevent a lot of that. It's the same thing with Photoshop. Like I've seen people talk right. about the AI generated uh, video and like, oh, well, they'll use this to manufacture uh, security footage of you doing a crime you didn't commit. And that's the valid concern. But I think we avoid that and a lot of the plagiarism stuff by having this technology uh, develop in the public eye so that as it develops, we can see through it. We see that with Photoshop. That's why you don't really see like Photoshopped fake evidence in court because we can identify right. it when something's been Photoshopped. So because the technology oh. sort of developed in the public eye. So as I, am develops, develops. I am concerned with some I am concerned with some judges. I mean, if you guys watch, like, for example, the written, the famous Rittenhouse case where there's like the pinch and zoom and the judges like doing it based on, you know, looking at it, whether it's edited. And I know that that we're there's still ability to track it and authenticate it, et cetera. But like I am concerned with like somewhere in the world, somewhere there's going to be some judge that's out of it and it's not going, you know, doesn't go through the proper procedures. to authenticate Probably in evidence. New York. 
It's, yeah, yeah. But that's an individual but, but thing as opposed that's to That's an AI. individual thing. I don't think it's a systematic thing. And I think yeah. we can figure out ways to systematically screen out that, uh, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. So, yeah, I'm with you on that. Let me get this one here. Captain Overkill says, I think there's people like artists and writers who have legit reasons to fear AI. But most of these people mad about it are Twitter types who were mad about NFTs two years ago and will be mad about something else next year. Yeah, I, th I think the most people that are that should be worried are the people that are making Patreon bucks, drawing your favorite IP characters naked. And uh, I am not sad to see them lose their jobs. Sparky <laughs> said, based as fuck, Cody. Same exact <laughs> argument I've made. I'm clipping this. Clip away, baby. Clip away. Clip away. Um, Nick Cruiser says AI is the beginning of the Butlerian job. <laughs> it is a warped curse that mimics the Omasaya's holy power. Yes, yes, praise to the Omasaya. From the moment I understood the weakness of my flesh, it <laughs> disgusted me. That is that, uh, that whole monologue goes so hard. It does. It's great. It's great. It's uh AI is a tool. Tools cannot be evil, but people can be evil, and some definitely are. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Um, for real art. People will always hire an artist. Exactly. As someone who hopes to be an author, currently fanfic writer, yeah, it can be useful, can feel like talking to a dummy toddler. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Like, I, I remember trying to generate stuff. And I, when I was testing, like, let me see this AI stuff. So I was, I was typing stuff in sure. AI and, and trying to get, like, something cool, something basic. And then, like, just the amount of times I had to, like, reset and change my wording because the AI didn't get it. And just thinking it would be so much easier to just draw this myself. And that's mm -hmm. kind of where I'm saying, this is no threat. This is nothing to be like, even as it gets better, it's still at the end of the day, just going to be so much easier to draw it yourself if you're, you know, an artist. Skill, you know, <laughs> like if you, you know, can, right? If you kind of have the ability to do so, like you're just going to, you're just going to want to draw it. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's see. Uh, Harry's dog says, FYI, I'm starting from the beginning of the video right now. So see myself 40 minutes late-ish to X speed. Also, R.I.P. Cody's audio. Having a hard time hearing him. He's fixed that. He's fixed that. Okay. Um, I was about to say, is it still bad? No, that was earlier. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Copacetic says, just this last Saturday stream, Pippa was working on more VTuber models for the community. Awesome. Yes. And I believe she just had a stream using novel AI. So that was kind of the, the um, thumbnail that I showed you in that slide uh, was her using novel AI just recently. Uh, Nana is in the chat too. Hi, Nana. Really? Yeah. Oh, good awesome. Shit. Right. Keep it up, man. Good good streamer. Good streamer. Uh, Justin says, are you going to cover the immense calamity Pippa unleashed with the indie game, The Coffin of Andy and Lele? Spoiler, it rivaled the Hogwarts crap. No, I, I actually <laughs> don't. So I have been, okay, you guys are laughing. I had somebody say they're going to send me this on like um, Steam or whatever, but okay. I have no idea about this game at all. You're all both rubbing your heads. So I feel like I'm just gonna get. <laughs> also, I just learned about Class of 09, but then I went to I went to Steam and like watched the trailer, and I'm like, oh, holy shit! This looks this looks hilarious. Yeah, like, Class of 09 is hilarious. It's it really hilarious. Is. Yeah, because like it's we've all played dating. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but okay. Off Annie so another, late, late. Look, it's another it's rabbit late. hole. Another rabbit hole, right? Yeah. Um. Charin says FF uh 5582 says. Uh, it's like getting angry that diesel trains meant that workers didn't have to shovel coal anymore. Yep. Good point. One percent. One percent. It's like, God, what are we going to do with the coal workers? The coal workers. You're putting them out of a job, man. Uh, howdy doody champion. The doodly doodler. <laughs> Over four ninety nine. The moment that got me to sub to Pippa was her crying on stream and getting ten k in super chat. That's you guys bullying her with super chats is the best form of. of of appreciation that's great um sin uh sir noble says if flavor would have went too far can we say phase connect almost unwittingly had a subsidiary uh yeah Maybe. i mean it's possible once again vicarious liability a, a principal agent it's possible to make an argument right so like if flavor ended up doing something really really bad right it could go back on phase and also they look at their relationship with phase. Like, is it unofficially endorsed, right? Like, is it something that they maybe didn't explicitly sign off, but they didn't take action necessarily the action to shut it down. I don't know. I don't know. But they, you know, the Sakano good news is we don't have to answer those questions yet. Yet. Um, Cause they're still, they're still around. Uh, K Dog three four eight four says Pippa said to potential VTubers, "Now go into Nye to play around with ideas." Um, 
a novel AI, uh, then when you like something, hire an artist to breathe life into it. Oh, she said that. Yeah. Yes, she did. Oh, well, that, that's even better. And she's even business. posted links to websites where you can find artists and commission them to bring your ideas to life, like VGens is one. So all those people that are trying to cancel her now for this – uh, for this association, for, you know, doing this with novel AI, right? They're, they're not really, you know, one thing is they're probably not real fans. A lot of times the people that try to cancel you are not your actual fans. They're not people even, you've never seen in your channel. to your audience. Yeah. They're people that just showed up and they leave you an angry comment and they never do anything else but, you know, hate post about you. Well, I mean, in um, rea the reality is they're drug addicts. I mean, they're, they're addicted to dopamine and dopamine, it is an addictive drug. I mean, let's be real. It's If anything, they should probably be talking about in schools more. Your body makes an addictive drug and these people are constantly chasing dopamine highs by being righteous and having a cause and having a fight and, and seeing those Tearing numbers people down. When they have their fight. It's it's They're just dragging Pippa into their drug addiction. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and look, and once again, she just wants to be like fun and, and stick up with her friends and, and, you know, be a little bit edgy and have fun, but she doesn't, she's not, Pippa doesn't. And this is something from the Kirsch said, she's not trying to be like the, the, a political or cultural like force. Right. You know, she's just trying to like be herself and do VTubing. Right. And I know that line can get kind of blurry sometimes, but like, that's her intent. Um, via Kirsha, that's that's Kirsha's words, not mine. Yeah. Um, Meta says, but I, I would tend to know that Kirsha knows her very well, so I would endorse Kirsha's views. Yeah, uh, Meta says, uh, personally, I use AI mostly for getting quickly an image of a character for tabletop RPGs and artistically to sort it into a real world or rough idea of a character before I draw it. Thank you, Cody, for your take. Very well. But. Thank you. And that is another great use for AI too. If you're not an artist and you're like just doing a tabletop game with your bros and you yeah. just want to yeah. give a look to this NPC, what are you going to just draw some, you're not an artist. You're going to just draw some shitty picture. Stick no, figure. You, yeah. you just wanna use the AI, whip something up. There you go. There's nothing wrong. If it's me, I would literally draw a stick figure. Like that's my, that's my <laughs> this, artistic skill. This is, this is the, this is the, the, the sexy elf lady. There, there's, look, yeah. you could tell she's sexy. I put two little circles here for the boobies. <laughs> Kevin, uh, Kevin, 2317 says, I just got off work and wanted to say that Face Connect exists for our protection. It's the Arkham Asylum of VTuber agencies. Uh, Matt says, Matthew uh, Uzilis says, AI will impact artists as they will not be able, as they will not be taking as long per project, but it means that they can take more projects in a time period at AI used before artists. There you go. Yeah, like I said, I am waiting for when when AI works with comics. My God, I can finally tell all my stories. It's so frustrating. Yeah, it'll I hate how long things take. Since Soka says an interesting development with flavor is now there's several talents who never even watched Pippa. And also a few of them draw super cute art even without an AI. Senna and Rhyme and uh and Rhyme. Um yeah, that's that's great. It's Ramey it's Ricotta. Taken, yeah. Ramey. Uh yeah. It's taken on uh, a life of its own, even beyond Pippa. So that's is more the, of an argument for it being the, more and more separate. Literal definition of a meme. Like the literal original definition of a meme. Uh the Mark Green experience says AI can't do Western style comic panels yet. It's not ready for prime time. Yeah, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Yet. Yet, right? That's the question. Yet. Give it yeah. time. Give it time. Also, welcome uh, everybody who's rating. Appreciate y'all uh, here uh, today. All right, let's watch. Before we go anywhere, let's watch a uh, clip. What do we want to watch a clip on? Uh, we'll watch a clip on. Let's see. Um, that one's too long. We'll do one on Pippa can't take a compliment. Because that one is uh, that one was uh, related to some comment from earlier, so we'll do this one. POV, you finally decide. Okay, I'm gonna put a bunch of effort into my hair and my makeup, and I'm gonna look super cute. And I go out, and then what? A cute girl compliments you. It makes you feel so good the rest of the day. I've never had that happen. Well, because you have you have you given fashion like this a chance? I've never even done my makeup. And then when you uh. go out, and then a cute girl is like, "Oh my God, Pippa, you look so pretty." Then you'll be like, "Fuck yeah." People who are saying that are waitresses that want a better tip in their horse. 
<laughs> Who the fuck hurt you? That's just how society is, Leah! What the actual fuck, Mimba? <laughs> People are not nice to you in public, Leah, unless they want something. I if don't... you're getting compliments because you're pretty, Leah, it's because they want to do bad things to you. <laughs> That's not true. Okay, well, maybe you'll get complimented by a not whore waitress. You're like, that's, that's a mall or something, right? <laughs> You're walking by, is like, wait, Pippa, your outfit looks so pretty. And then she just goes about her day. And she's not a whore. She just stopped you to say, wow, you look good. And then kept walking. She did that to artificially raise my confidence. So that way I would think that I look good, but actually I look stupid. And it was the frog pond effect. She was doing it to make herself feel better. Pippa, I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> I'm going to objectively <laughs> right. I'm objectively right. That's right. fucking not. That's not how those things work. It is literally how it works. <laughs> That's literally not. You can give compliments to people and not have like an ulterior motive. You know that, right? Like people can compliment you and be genuine about it. What are the odds of that, Leah? Like one in one million. No, it's not. It's seriously not. Leah, why would somebody go out of their way to be nice? Because people are just genuinely nice sometimes. Yeah, like one in one million people, Leah. Leah, look at the other statistics and then get back to me, okay? Look at crime rates, Leah! Oh my god, have you ever been murdered before? No, no I have not. So shut the <laughs> fuck up, you don't know that. The have people that are closest murdered? to you are the people that are most likely to do bad things to you. Just like statistically, right? So if like a you cat fix her, looks at you and she's like, Oh, you look really nice today. That's probably because she intends on like selling you to her lover that lives in Spain and, and he's gonna like sell you into human trafficking. <laughs> what the fuck? After he raped you. What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you? Wrong. Have you ever been shipped <laughs> off to some random man in Spain? Have you? No! No! But it happens all the time! No, it doesn't! It literally fucking doesn't! <laughs> I promise you, you getting complimented by some because you dress nice does not mean that you are going to be kidnapped, sold off to a man in Spain, and raped. I promise you the correlation between that is less likely than like just like someone genuinely giving you a compliment. Have you ever been human trafficked? Have you ever been murdered? No. No. Exactly. Yet. Not going to happen, oh, okay? My God. If I don't dress pretty, I have lower chances of being human trafficked. That's not true because they could just take somebody to dress crappy too. They don't discriminate. They do, Leah. They want higher value products to sell. I'm moving on. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fix her. You want me to add her mine? Uh, I think it's also be correctable. That's a big part yeah. of her popularity, though. There's a lot of like weirdos that watch her and like he's literally me for real, for real. Literally. <laughs> Aura uplinks. Uh, welcome as a member. Thank you, thank you. Uh, have you seen Pippa's daughter and the Wish Pippa? Uh, I have not. Do you guys know Pippa's daughter? The Wish Pippa? I, I feel like it's probably a, a esoteric. They're talking about uh, Pippa's too. love of Colorus, and people started making art of oh, what Colorus. their what their oh, child yeah yeah what yes. their child would look like, and she was losing her mind seeing. Yeah, this. so so they started doing because oh. um, that McDonald's ad had come out. So yeah. she's obsessed like the with the family this, ad. Yeah, so she's obsessed with this villain from Pokemon named Colorus, Colorus. Yes. and uh, someone drew a parody of that ad but with her colrus and then like a pippa colrus baby uh child hybrid and it like it like activated some like excitement and depression at the same time <laughs> just <laughs> just, it was a Colgate, funny... Colgate, no, Colgate. <laughs> hey, look, look, I'll, I'll stick up for Pip on it. Cole is, if you play Pokemon, is a pretty damn cool character. His theme is a banger, and uh, I, I did, I, I, I needed like a, a, a woman's opinion, so I asked my girlfriend. I showed her a picture, like, look, okay, Pippa, this is Pippa's, uh, the, the her mm -hmm. big husbando. What do you think? And she just looked at me like, yeah, I can see it. So mm -hmm. you know what? Uh, he's got a weird hair thing, but all Pokemon characters have some little like, hey, it's like my main Pokemon. I have a thing on me. So you know what? It's fine. I've seen weird. There's a, it's in Chibi Doki of Death with Bowser. Like, I've there's seen way hair. weirder in anime. There's yeah, way I mean, weirder hair in anime. Her, she could have a thousand weird choices. Uh, Leah uh, and Freddy Fazbear. Yeah, that mm -hmm. checks. That tracks. <laughs> yeah. Um... Let's see. Uh, four eight six bass for four hundred Thai bot. Thank you. Says my problem with novel AI is that they basically train off an artist's works and use their names as a tag. 
allowing a lot of grifters to use their art style. Legal or not, I still find it morally questionable. Well, I mean, what do you think about it? why? Like, what does it matter if if they're using their like a AI generated copying their art style? Like, so what? Like, if if someone is learning to draw and they learn to draw bait, like they're one of the quintillion 13 year olds drawing Dragon Ball Z. Is that a problem? Like is me, it, when I was that age, I was drawing Dragon Ball Z inspired art like all the time. Yeah. Like it's just because it's a person, it's different. Like who cares? Like, if they're not profiting off it, if they're not trying to say it's theirs, if it's just something being done for fun, like if you're like making Legos and you try to make a bootleg Lego set. Like, I don't own any Star Wars Legos, but I'll try to make something Star Wars based on the Legos I do have. Is there something wrong with that? Like, That's what, if I, did. That's what I did. I built my own my own Star Wars vehicles out of generic Legos. Like, is, am I stealing the Star Wars IP, right? Am I yeah, training on like, Star Wars? Like, what does that mean? just for fun or, you know, just right. AI generating some stuff for funsies. Like, who cares? So does that mean fan art, profit, fan art claim... is not permitted, yeah. right? By that same logic, you would ban fan art. Yeah, exactly. Like as long as you're not trying to claim ownership or profit off it, who cares? It's f it's for fun. Right. It's like a fan um, game, it's like fan art it's for fun. Uh, let's go down here. Uh, generic says AI has positive applications for an animation as well, filling in animation between keyframes uh, that normal normally take time to animate. Yeah, there's another application. There's so much stuff as like artistically uh, that okay. AI will be able to do down the line. I'm excited. And and then Tremance brings up the issue of of, uh, of training again, right? And and once again, I think that's the same response of, well, well, yeah, and and you know, many people commonly train themselves on stuff that is not hmm. that is not they don't consent to, quote unquote. Um, Pippa is the legit version of female version of Jim. It's just more unhinged. I don't know. Look, Pippa loves Jim, and they're kind of in the same area. I don't think I'd say she's different though. Him. Yeah, they're Jim, different though. Well, like Jim, Jim is more uh, like I, I adore he, he's Jim. More of a, I like a commentary. He's more of like yeah, a commentary yeah. guy. Jim, Jim is more. I want to say, let's say aggressive. He he. Yes, like, yes. I, don't, I don't even know if aggressive is the right word, but he like he, he's more antagonistic, but in a good way. Because I'm worried I'll say antagonistic. People, like, he's going after well, no, Jim. Uh, no. If 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 Pippa took the exact style of, I'm just going to be like straight up with you. If like Pippa took the style of Jim, she wouldn't be monetizable. I mean, because Jim is not monetizable. So, yeah. and, and you know, I'm talking about Mr. Medica, right? So like this, he's not. I mean, he's off platforms for a reason, right? So like like once again. The concern with FaZe and with uh, Pippa is like to, to keep her monetized, to keep her on platforms, right? If 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 Pippa gets gets demonetized, that probably would breach her contract. Um, so like there'd be I, I don't know where I don't know. I'm saying probably. Once again, I have not read the FaZe contract, but there might be issues for Pippa if she gets uh, if she gets demonetized. So um, you know, based on something she's done or said or whatever else. So. Yeah, Medicare, Medicare yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. People say he streams on YouTube, but I think his channel's gotten uh, dinged. Yeah, um, I, I, I would say Susan took it away, yeah. but Susan was gone. It was the the new guy that was in charge that that took away the weatherman's super berries. Yeah. Yep. So now he sells hats. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, got that one. Uh, rip monetization for the stream. Thanks, Pippa. Uh, Bebop says, "What the fuck am I watching?" The damn show out there and smash the like button because you guys should be enjoying it uh looks like the menhara is too powerful the power of the menhara well that's the yeah. thing too uh, i think another bit of pippa's appeal is she's getting better and not only are you being entertained by you know all the stuff we've discussed before but you're following this entertaining person and likable person getting better like her the way she's improved her life her outlook her her mood uh her is everything like it it feels like too when you super chat her it's going to a good cause because she's using that money to basically better herself better her life so it's like not only am i giving you money because you're entertaining me but i know that that money will be used to fix your damn teeth <laughs> to, <laughs> to get yourself a nice place so you don't have to live around gunshots you know, that kind of thing yeah. and mold yeah, and mold, gunshots and mold, which sounds like a, a band name that someone should probably go ahead and steal. Go ahead and use that one. Uh, Dr. Jazz says, you should see that one-time Tenma cosplayed as Colrus for Pippa. I, I, do I have that? 
I mean, that's a good minute I've seen that. Minute, that minute I've seen that. Um, <laughs> let poor Gator get a word in edge. I mean, Gator, Gator can. Gator I'm holding can get my own there. here, guys. Yeah, I'm holding Gator. my own. We, we, Don't worry we, about we, me. We got lots of time for Gator. In, in fact, I'll let Gator lead on the next topic. Uh, four eight six uh, Bass says some even grifter actually making two k a month on Patreon by imitating well known artist styles. Though. Yep. Yep. One hundred percent. There's a lot just of people. Like he's, just... he's the person that's just a regular artist, just copies people's styles and makes money on Patreon. Well, there, no, there's just there's a lot of artists that their whole shtick is they have a style like somebody you like, especially Dragon Ball. There's oh. a lot of there's a lot of there are people that do Patreon just because they make Dragon Ball animation videos. Um, and like I said those are some of the people that are the most threatened by AI, and I say fuck them. Right. So. Uh, Azeha channel says every single time I made after uh, Azahara, sorry, thank you, Gator. See, Gator can speak up. Gator. Yeah, I got uh, you. Every single thumbnail I made after October 2022 has been AI. Before I would Photoshop Pippa's face in different art, someone got mad. I was editing art without permission. Can't win with artists. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, all right. So the next one I want to do, uh, and I'm going to do uh, a little different order, but we're going to go to the uh, the 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 naughty 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 thing uh -oh. uh, which i think is best introduced by video uh which is first time that pippa tried that was her. i love this just the chat just so ready for this late and pipkin yes late and very pipkin latekin <laughs> I was dying when I first saw this, when this first played. It's so good. The Walmart. <laughs> I hate this, but I hate people on Twitter more. Oh man! Oh god, so, that was a legend. So one of the things that I love about that is she kind of pioneered, not just like like not caving to the Twitter mob, right? Which is why I kind of put this up as my uh, my next one here in the kind of high crimes of a uh, Pippa Pipkin is uh, the Forbidden Wizard game, right? It's Pipkin um, Pippa. whatever. Oh, I said Pipkin <laughs> Pippa. I said Pipkin <laughs> Pippa. Uh, so. <clears throat> In a Japanese way. Um, so th th this really is standing up to the Twitter mob, and she's one, especially in the VTuber space, I think this probably is the first big event of standing up to people who said you cannot play this game, right, and wanting to attack and harass people 
um, for doing a thing. And while I was reminded of this, and actually one of the reasons why I want to do this stream, and one of the reasons why I think, you know, Pippa, as much as this was a crime that was held against her, why she is not just innocent, but absolutely uh, front ran by almost, I think this was like a year ago that this happened to her, uh, was recently we had a big issue, which I covered with Niji Sanji and uh, Scarla, right? With the Starbucks, right? Where she got uh, canceled over Starbucks, by the way, I like this. Eat Starbucks once, attacked by masses. Makes anti-white commentary daily, praised by everyone. But yeah, no, this whole issue where they were trying to cancel her for uh, for Starbucks. And like at a certain point, what was really good to me and what I really liked seeing was that people, although she had to apologize because she's at Niji Sanji, right? People were standing their ground. They weren't afraid to fight back and to push back. And I think maybe before the Pippa stuff went down, uh, before the, the Wizard game, people might have been a little bit scared to do that. But I think because they've seen this before, they've seen this show before, they're willing to stand and push back. So uh, I think I think it was a net good thing. But Gator, I will let you speak first. What do you think about her stream in the Wizard game? Well, I think it was super mega based. See, what was happening at the time was people were going after people like Silver Veil of V Shoujo, Pika Me of Vom's project, and they had successfully bullied them into not playing that game. And it wasn't just simply the fact that they bullied them into not playing the game and then like, well, oh, we got them not to play the game. Okay, that's done. They kept going after them. They kept attacking them. And it didn't stop after they acquiesced and said, you know what? I'm not going to play this game. They kept it up. Just the yes. very fact of saying you were going to play the game and it just invited all of these Twitter freaks, as Silvervale called them, to continue to go after them and continue to harass them, post their family's addresses and dox them and crazy stuff like that. So you know what? People like Pippa and people like Tenma got out there and they stood against the mob and they said, you know what? No more. You will go no further. You shall not pass and stood up for the entire community against these freaks and weirdos. And it was super based. It was, and it, it, someone had to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Someone had to do it. And it was Pippa, right. Who had the, the backbone and the, 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 the yabbit balls to actually, you know, go out there and say, you know what, I don't even like Harry Potter. I, I, I went on the record as disliking it, but I'm going to do this because th this Twitter bullshit is not, is, is worth fighting against. Cody, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, I, I agree for the most part. I do think, um, well, for the most, I agree entirely, but uh, there's a little thing I want to add. Um, I think she did, uh, I don't think she even kind of brought this up, kind of get roped into a culture war thing she didn't want to be a part of. Um, she was 120% right. You can't, like these Twitter people aren't people. I mean, it's like Dave Chappelle said, Twitter is not a real place. Uh, you, you can't let these people tell you what you can and can't do. And uh, like I said, most of these people are drug addicts. And if you just deny them their hit, they'll go away. And I think what Pippa did was great because it really did, um, I think, give people a lot of like it, it showed you can disregard these people, even tell them to go kiss your ass and you'll be fine. If anything, you will benefit from it. So if a hate mob comes at you, don't acquiesce. Niji Sanji, don't uh, don't and don't uh, invite them in either. If you, you know, don't bring in that kind of crowd because then it can right. make your life a nightmare niji sanji uh right. but uh like it, it was a, she, again it's that fine line she kind of walks the statement was obvious because of what was done to <clears throat> to uh pika me and all and silver veil but at the same time i don't think she wanted to go any farther than that and a lot of people mm -hmm. were kind of dragging her into the the Deeper. culture war and politics of it and that yes. is the point where i think she doesn't cross and she doesn't want to be pulled into and she doesn't want you to cross in her name. It was uh, the the extent of the, if you could say message, and even saying message feels like it was more preachy than it was. But the point uh, was, yeah, screw these people. They're awful. And that was it. No greater message about a, a side, a team, a, a message. It was just fuck those guys in particular. And that was the beauty of it, because that's all it was. And I think everybody but those people hate those people. And I think right. that's why they are the like the way they are, that the only the only quote unquote friends they have are each other and they'll tear each other apart. 
Everyone right. outside of their existence cannot stand them. And this this holds true in the internet and in real life. Uh, and if you, cause I'm sure we've all met at least one person like this in real life. And we all think the same thing. I'm not going to get into it with them because I want to go about my day, but man, right. am I glad that I'm only passing by this person. Man, am I right. glad that once I leave the room, they're out of my life. Yes, yes, yes. I, I actually said this to somebody today because I was sitting with my friend, you know, cause I didn't sleep. Uh, so I went to uh, a nearby Izakaya at four in the morning to uh, get food and some drinks. I had like a couple highballs. It was great. Um, and I was saying, you know, what's awesome for me is that since I, especially since I'm not in America, I can just turn off my computer and I can be totally away from all the bullshit, all the other stuff. I can just walk away and go about my day and I don't see any of it. Right. As long as I don't, and even online, as long as I don't go to certain places and do certain things, I don't get involved in any of it. Like people will say, oh, this person said something about you. I really don't care. I'm, and people will send me links. I don't even open them, right? Like that. that's how little I care. People say, this person said X about you. I'm not even going to open it. I don't care. I really, I genuinely do not care. The quote unquote um, Twitter mob only have as much right. power as you let them. If you as just you deny give them. them. Yeah, yeah, if you just deny them mm -hmm. and starve them, they're powerless, and then they will go yes. away. Even if they keep they bringing get bored you up, it'll on. be like petty things, and they'll just spell your name with a star, so you'll never even see it. So they're like, "Oh, you don't, you don't engage." Oh, okay. Because they're, like, they're, they're, they're looking them. for a hit. That's yeah, it. yeah. The more you engage, the worse it is. <laughs> uh, Mo Monster Lord became a member. Welcome, 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 and Pixie Missa uh, became a member. Thank you so much, both as a member and welcome uh, to the most based membership out there the blm uh appreciate that both of you uh for joining there Great. creative burst says with pika it's a real shame she went a month hitting uh, hiatus hiatus hiatus, hiatus. Uh, and um it's hard and made more drama for her graduation which was planned before then yeah that's that's you know they're ruining it for everybody, but they don't care. I mean, they, they literally are tourists that come by just to ruin it because most of these people, and I actually covered this when we were covering Scarla with these Niji, these, these, you know, Niji haters, they weren't even people that watched her to begin with. And even after she apologized, they're like, well, I'm still not going to watch her. Well then why, you know what I mean? Why apologize in the first place? There's no point. Do not apologize unless you genuinely made a mistake and you feel the need to make, do it, but not because of pressure, but because you genuinely based on your morals, principles, whatever else feel like you should apologize, but it's not going to get them to calm down or go away. If you're, if your thought for apologizing is it's going to make it better. It's not. Yeah, it's again, not. the drug addicts, don't give them a hit. If they, if you give yeah. them their hit, they're going to keep coming back to you for their fix. So if yeah. you're if you show them that you're dry, basically, you they they will go away because yeah. why would they why would they stick around you? Why would they keep engaging with you? Why would they keep focusing on you when you don't get them that shot of dopamine that they're looking for? Yeah. Uh, Mina Vanilla says from Flavor, <laughs> so I am a child of Pippa Pipkin. I wouldn't be here without AI. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean that's that's the point. Derivative a derivative work, you might say. Right. Uh, so uh, <laughs> I've been seeing Nightfall. So it's hard to put into words how much I love Walmart Bacora. She's an unending source of gold. <laughs> oh, that's great. It's uh, funny. Sky. She was called Walmart Pecora before her vocal yeah. love of Walmart came out. So that just made yeah. it so perfect. It's, it's, it's it really did. Wow. It's like so many memes. When they land, they land. They Me land. Magic, baby. Um, uh, let's see. Scott says, I knew you were my little butterball with enough 24 hour ops. You'll be rich enough to leave the lawyer career and be in a war for Jim's drive. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Vedeker. Uh, great, great guy. Uh, great content, you know, and I, and look, I love all content creators. Like I love even, you know, people that, you know, I may not watch all the time, but like have a thing they've created and perfected. And, and Jim, Mr. Medicare certainly perfected what he does. Um, yeah. Pippa's Potter stream is how I discovered her. Really? That's great that you followed her based on that. That is fantastic. Um, the Hogwarts clip is an example of why I like, uh, why I say she's like Jim. She never bends and throws it back at him. I think though yeah, she and Jim um, deflect in different ways. Jim, yes. uh, someone, someone described like you can't, 
you can't mock the jester. And yes, that's yes. sort of what makes Jim kind of impervious because you, he, he, nothing really sticks or gets to him. And you've always got to run that risk if you go after Jim because he's very good at, at zingers. He's very good at finding that just very witty, simple thing to say about you to destroy you. He's very good at that. Yes. Whereas Pippa, um, it, were, it will be more flippant. Like rather than like with Jim, Blumble he'll just away. laugh at you and hit back. Uh, mm -hmm. Pippa will kind of just like scot, like brush you off, and either ignore you or subtly hit back, like with this Hogwarts thing. Indirectly, so, like, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, like yeah, Jim is more of like a rebound, an immediate rebound effect of trying to come after him. As Pippa is more of like kind of a weave around it and, and dodging. Right, right. Jim will come and dunk on you right away, right? Right. Like, yeah, that, that's yeah, that's going to be a different response. So they're uh, similar but, in that regard. They're in the, they're they're basically like family members as opposed to like siblings. If you put that's that a way. very good, very good comparison. Because yeah, it's like all of the people that watched um, Mr. Mediker and enjoyed his content, like everybody took something away, but everybody took something different away. And like while, mm -hmm. you know, while everybody that was that's a fan of his gets like criticism because they're like, oh, you're just trying to copy Jim, whatever. You know, that's actually like a compliment. Hmm. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's not like imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, right? And it's it's uh, an easy thing to copy because his shtick is basically pretty simple. It's just having a good time laughing at the expense of fools which and, is uh, which is pretty that, good it's pretty good business yeah yeah that's it that's <laughs> the gist of all he is like people you know, he gets yeah. elevated because he is kind of a legend but people do kind of suck his dick a little it's kind of crazy but well you know kind of deserves it, it but but it, it is it, 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 it is they do deify him that's all he is and that's why it works so well and why so many people take after him is just he's sort of the pioneer of just laughing at the fools that's it nothing else crazy no nothing farther than that just hey, look at this asshole <laughs> that's it right and and i think with that this is probably the best point there's three super chats i've been i've been, I've been like kind of there's not a there's not a clean point to address them but i'll address all three of them at the same time uh, which is the birthday freak saying, will the gun saga be a topic of the stream? I follow Pippa because she made fun of Ethan Ralph and Gator remind him of the Ralph saga with Pippa. So kind of, <laughs> kind of bringing all three of those together. I think that was like both Jim and Pippa were similar in that way. Right. So like clearly that's where Pippa was to drawing her inspiration from. Right. And like, you know, poking fun for, for content that, that clear to me looked like that's coming out of Jim, but the Gator, I'll let you, I'll let you comment on that. Since yeah. you're probably the, you're probably since the I, expert. Yeah. Uh, regrettably, I'm kind of the expert of this. So yeah. like, when I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, so Jim was on my podcast, actually Cody was there too. Uh, we had sure. Mr. Medicare on as a guest and that was kind of the, uh, the, the, the launching off point where, uh, like I left that show and didn't want to have anything to do with Ralph anymore. So I, I was the Killstream co-host for a while. Um, so I had Jim on, and one of the super chats was about Pippa Pipkin. Pipkin Pippa. And so we got Jim to give her a shout out, you know, Godspeed, Pippa, and your fight against the Glowies, I think was was what, yeah, what was uh, they wanted him to say. The comment was, yeah, yeah. And so so Jim started talking about Pippa on his streams, and uh, Ralph saw that. And like made some snide comment about uh, like anime and VTubers, and so that got uh, that got Pippa's attention. And so um, Ralph he ended up going to Portugal and getting his ass beaten, just like savagely <laughs> get his, his ass savagely beaten. Now his man my, my purse just, taken, and his stolen. man purse got stolen. And uh, <laughs> like. <laughs> funny i'm sorry it that's is. objectively funny like there's no world that twice that's not funny it, like, yes it yes, happened again. it happened again yeah. twice. Yes, it, twice twice the first ass meeting was not enough we had a sequel I, we had to I get really it we had to get a sequel oh god okay <laughs> continue continue okay so so when that happened like there was there was a lot of stuff going on like you know he was he was mad at me because I had Jim on the stream and he waited like, you know, after he got his ass whooping to get mad about it. Uh, you know, Jim was laughing about it and making cracking jokes about it. And he was like super offended because he, you know, he lost his purse and, you know, got his face danced on. Uh, and, and so when all of this was happening, like, I don't think Pippa forgot Ralph's like snide comments about VTubers or whatever. And so she was just like, you know what? 
this is funny. I'm I'm going to talk about this. And chat kept bringing it up. So she pulled she pulled up his Twitter live on air was it was like talking about it and laughing at him, you know, about the the edit where he tried to compare himself yeah. to Ryan <laughs> Gosling. To, compare, to Ryan Gosling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he blocked her in real time. Like sparked he's like I don't care about, you know, anime rabbits or whatever. <laughs> it was it was so no, funny. the line the line was I do not care about the opinion of anime rabbits dear sir and it something like it it says more about you that you do that was his oh, that was okay. zinger Yeah okay okay that's that's pretty that's pretty good so so yeah I, I think look like that I think channeling the spirit of Jim you know I, I watched like Lord Mollington's video he has a little subsection called the air to Mediker, you know as a moniker for you know Pippa um you know, I, I don't think like I think I, I'm with Cody on it. I don't think it's one to one. I think maybe it's like in the style of or it's like, you know, like if you do something like inspired by. Right. But it's not it's not the same thing. Right. It's not one for one. So I, it's I, basically I think it's, the way you can feel when you read. I'm going to animate up. I'm going to weave it up with anime. Boomers. Yeah, weave it up. Weave it up. Uh, weave it up. It's like when you read one piece, you can feel the inspiration from Dragon Ball, but it's very yes. different from Dragon Ball. Very yeah. good, good, very good example. Very good. Where you can tell that it's something that that is a, it's aware of the other thing. It's operating in the wake of the other thing, like a uh, Razafon, right? Mm-hmm. Razafon is in the wake of Evangelion, yeah, right. Like you can't watch Razafon and not say, "Oh yeah, Evangelion," right? Yeah, like obviously. Um, but you, it, but it's, it's it is technically something different, right? And it takes a different tone, a different angle, uh, a different way of telling the story. So. Uh, so yeah, I, I definitely uh I definitely see that. I definitely see that. People are saying Razafon suck dick. I'm not saying it's good, motherfuckers. I'm just saying that it's it's you see in one thing shades of the other, right? Um <laughs> people uh, immediately as soon as you mention weeb shit, people start going to war in the chat. It's like oh, it's, yeah. it's right. Let I know. I, you know, it's like out of the corner, you know. I built the AO brand initially on antagonizing yeah. that. I know all yeah, about it's that. It's great. It's great. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, Masada, though. Um, so, anyways, uh, <laughs> continuing on here. Uh, it's we've been, got enough. It's been 30 <laughs> years. <laughs> it's been 30 years. <laughs> 30 years. <again. laughs> We're still in the trenches. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Uh, let's do let's do this one uh, here. Pippa starts to care about her looks, uh, which is kind of complimentary for the last one we saw. I can thank you. Any updates on the dental situation? I have another dentist appointment coming up soon, and oh. I'm looking at getting braces. Oh God, help me! <laughs> I don't know. My current dentist said braces would be a better fit for my teeth, but. <laughs> I'm really hoping when I get to when I'm, when I'm really able cool. to talk to an orthodontist, I'm hoping that they'll that they'll be like, oh no, yeah, Invisalign is fine, and I'm hoping I'll be able to do Invisalign because braces is a little bit braces are a bit much, you know. But I want to fix my teeth 100, percent you know. I want to get my teeth not just back in working order 100, percent but also like I want to have a nice smile, you know. I don't I don't want to just have like a fixed mouth. I want to have a nice smile. Yeah, but just get plastic surgery. I've thought about it, man. I want to I wanna fix myself up to a state that I can, like, you know? I know, I know people say, you know, like, you're, you're made in the way God intended and stuff. You but to that clip earlier. Like, God would be fine with me fixing a deviated septum, right? <laughs> Surely. <laughs> I don't know what does and doesn't count. Point is, point is, there's some stuff that would make my life easier from a health standpoint. So I would like to do those things. Yeah, that's a that's a very good that's a very good point. And that's not even by the way, it's not even caring about your looks, it's caring about your health. So I think even that even that clip was mislabeled. I'll do my adjust the glasses. Also I can, I can, unrelated, but this is for like the five people watching who are you know the cool kids. Uh, oh, when, oh, the cool when kids. That, um, when that stream first started, and I had it like on the other screen while I'm doing stuff. Uh, in the nanosecond, I saw her in that like that car graphic thing. First mm-hmm. thing came to my mind is a show it was on MTV back in the late '90s called Syphil and Ollie. 
or they're all sock puppets. And I remember like all the bits they would have of Syphil and Ollie in the car. And there were a lot of songs on that show. So the song, for those who've seen the show, the song 65 and over just teleported into my brain as soon as I saw that visual. And again, there's like five people who know what I'm talking about, but those five people are like based. So to those five people, I say, <laughs> I put that song back in your head. So you're welcome. It's a catchy song. Welcome, I already see people in the chat being like, oh my God. Simple <laughs> Ali was dope, man. This is one of the best shows. Uh, Josh <laughs> Krunchek, welcome, welcome as a member. Uh, Kato the Blue says, the FaZe girls are really good at biting back when there's Twitter hate, which is good, right? Yeah. You want the Minheras on your side when there's the, like a Twitter war going on. They take no shit. It's fantastic. No. It's and nor great should they take a drop of shit. So I, I, I worry. Yeah. And I worry about a lot of people because I know that it's hard for people to deal with that. And not a lot of people are used to that. I, I think the internet has hardened me, especially having been on the internet now for, for three, four years as a content creator and covered some kind of controversial topics. Uh, let's say I've had some spicy takes at some points. I've had a couple of spicy takes, a couple of little, I've thrown a Welcome couple to the club. Of, a couple of little left hooks and punches and stuff. And you learn you've got to have a spine and a backbone. You also got to be able to uh, find a way to deal with negative criticism, right? That you have to have a way to address it uh, and a way to address it is going to keep yourself sane in the long run <laughs> and not like, you know, having some sort of issue or whatever else, right? Um, so that's that's very, very important. I know a lot of young creators, when they're first starting out, it, it's a weakness of theirs. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean they have to train. They have to strengthen themselves to deal with pushback because they're not used to getting it. Most people aren't used to getting it in their regular everyday lives, right? We don't normally get that much pushback in our, our regular everyday lives, at least not the same level as the internet because the internet is not reality, right? Yeah. And in reality, people are not the tough guys they appear to be on Twitter. Um, also, is it Pippa's birthday today? Is this a thing? Yeah, that's a, that's a, I don't know if you it's know. A, this might be me not getting the joke, but no, that's a recurring bit. Everybody just wishes. It's always birthday. Pip. It's always Pippa's birthday. It's Happy birthday, Pippa. Birthday. Just, yeah, just so birthday. she can, she can go. It's not my birthday. Yeah, love it. Which is um, a terrible Pippa impression. I'm so sorry, Pippa. As a her, uh, as a horror channel says, Pippa makes fun of Ethan Ralph two uh, forty seven is the summary of the whole stream. Uh, Will uh, I've got enough the clips, uh, but uh, thank you. I'll check that out afterwards. Um, and Dr. Catsball said, hey, chat, your favorite anime is mid. It's true. Sorry to tell you this. Sorry you had to find I out. That you way. had to find out like this. <laughs> yeah, Fear, Fear, Fearing was mid. I'm actually kidding. I just, uh, I'm almost finished with Fearing again. I have uh, caught up with Fire and Fire. the only person uh, watching it now. Yeah. Is this yeah. You're the only person not watching it? I, I, I feel like it. I don't, I don't have any interest in it at all. I feel, at a, Cody's well, not it's been much nice having us. Cody on the show. Uh, it's been really great. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. I don't. Uh, okay. It's 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 okay. It's okay. Just to see you. It's, bye forever. Um, Shadow Knight says Silverdale did resume playing. Pick a me. There's a reason why Henya exists. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently that was already going to happen anyway but even so that does not not only does that not excuse what happened that does not discount the message being sent because yes technically they did still take that away from you because we would have had more Pikami before her retirement had she, she wasn't going to take a month off in fact she had like new outfit designs and things that she was going to debut over the course of that month she took the month off because of the harassment because mm -hmm. she grew up dealing with that kind of stuff yeah. So, yeah. so that there's a lot of people, especially people that were trying to take part in that crap who really showed how sociopathic they are, despite the fact they think they're good people. Uh, they were like, well, see, no, you're, you were trying to make it about us, but no, she was planning to leave. She wasn't planning to take a month off. We could have had a whole month of peak of me. If it wasn't for you, you are not the good guys. You think you are. Yes. You are evil yes. and nobody yeah. likes you. And nobody likes you, which is the point. Nobody likes you. Even within your group, nobody likes you, right? They, you don't your friends you. would right. eat you alive in a heartbeat. If it got them a droplet of clout, if they got yep. a droplet of clout, they would worm tongue your ass in two seconds, Yeah, right? They have zero loyalty. But you go keep on telling yourself that you're a good person. Whatever gets you that next dopamine hit, sweetness. Mm. Yeah. Uh, 
Pippa's extreme criticism of Overwatch 2 was what sold me on VTubers and her is my Oshi. Oh, that's awesome. I think I've I think I've seen that one actually. It, like sure raging in Overwatch 2. I think that's a that's a good one. Um Phil Zoot says, please sing Pippa happy birthday. Should we do it? Big. Should we do no. it, Bryce? No, we're not. We're not doing it. 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 Just watch, watch, it. Just watch Ken Ashcorp's Happy Birthday, Pippa. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it is. Em Emperor Creatine says, your favorite anime is mid. Uh, congratulations on earning the eternal enmity of every last man, woman, and child south of the USA. <laughs> Excellent. Well, they don't count because their favorite anime is Dragon Ball, and Dragon Ball is awesome. So it's peak. they could yeah. pass. Yeah. Their, their, their favorite anime is correct. That's exactly right. Um, all right. So the next topic, the next thing I have to bring up uh, is, and the last thing I have I have on my high crimes list is the case, and I got to go back here. Uh, is the case of the stolen identity is the case of the stolen identity. And this is one I brought Cody on to specifically talk about because this issue, the issue over uh, the supposed identity of Pipka Pipkin uh, is something that actually what it, it was before it happened before Pippa came before I entered the VTuber sphere, so quote unquote, with Gator kind of getting me in on Niji Sanji and Doki Bird and everything and selling and all that's going on with that. Um, was I was like, well, there's this issue, and this was months and months ago, right? There's this issue of uh, that's going on between uh Pippa and involving some streamers that I know that I you know have streamed with in the past. And I recalled that Cody was was you know wanting to explain the big issue about vtubers identities about vtubers uh personalities past lives and past lives and i didn't get it i didn't get it at all but when i when the second the second i started covering uh and by the way this photo right here is a cosplayer and actually actually <laughs> show you guys this is not just any cosplayer. It's actually a cosplayer that Pippa just like retweeted, right? So that's, I got this one. This is one that's like a funny, it's funny, haha. It's not the actual photo because I don't want to show the actual photo again, uh, right? But this is one I just got from, from Pippa retweeting it. A very good cosplayer. Apparently Pippa likes them because she reposted that. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, I just want to bring up more of it, not about the specific person, because frankly, I don't even want to make it a, a personal thing. But what I want to do is explain the importance to people that don't know of the identities of people, because it's something I learned within the first day. But I think as a non VTuber, as not, someone who's not a VTuber fan, it's hard for like normies to understand. So I thought Pippa is a good vehicle to explain why that is important. And why protecting that is important. So Cody, I know you had a lot of feelings on that. So I want to give the yeah, floor to so you. Without getting to, because you know how people are with their drama. So I'm not going to yes, yes, yes. specific names or anything like that, but I'll try to explain the situation for context. So someone yeah. posted a joke, um, fake Pippa docs of like, oh, it's her real photo. Um, this was not her. It was a joke. However, it was a bad joke and it was a dumb joke. It was a joke that shouldn't have been made, and the person that made the joke really had trouble owning up to that. Um, I think partially they don't understand the the vibe of VTubers and how things go. Yeah. And I think also partially it was an ego thing. They didn't want to take the L. But uh, the problem is VTubing, there's a lot of privacy involved, especially because of the parasocial nature. People can be weird about it. Uh, yeah. So you genuinely want to keep that wall up because if if people have any inkling of who you are, some of those people that are a little bit too attached to your anime character can start getting a little bit too attached to who you really are. Now, uh, I don't believe that you are responsible for getting someone hurt if you make a joke, but there is a little thing called tact. And if someone, especially Pippa, who we know, if you're a fan of her, is high strung. Um, this is a girl that won't answer the door when she orders Uber Eats because she's terrified. So the idea is Pippa had a close call a while back with her docs where someone was trying to dox her and they basically stopped when they got the wrong people. And now there's some, which I'm not, 
I'm not going to get too into that because there was an innocent person that got doxxed and by claiming their Pepkin and Pepa, but it was some girl from Germany or whatever. Mm -hmm. But uh, that kind of that kind of put a kibosh on the Pippa dox train. And uh, this joke this person made could have very easily respurred, like spurred. Because if you joke about a fake thing that gets mm -hmm. people thinking about their almonds activated about the real thing that can. Mm -hmm inspire them to start chasing the real thing and that's why right. a lot of people were pissed about this joke because you know pippa narrowly avoided a doxing and you're just going to start it back up again what the hell are you doing uh this person didn't understand that and i think half half general understandable ignorance and half not willingness an unwillingness to take an l which they earned an l uh but the uh the the problem it like i said it's a matter of tact because the thing with the VTuber's identity, sometimes, uh, <clears throat> pardon the coughing, my throat's dry. I got to get a drink after okay. I'm done with this. Uh, but the, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm out. I, I, I drank it all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mock me. I see how it is. Um, the, uh, the, the issue too, it's a matter of tact because there is, with the past life thing, right? It's just, it's a half taboo. The taboo's changed a little bit because when VTubing started, the, the VTubers, V, the VTubing's new, so they weren't VTubers previously, so their identity was more private. So it was like forbidden knowledge, people would call it, like who this person mm -hmm. is or was. Right, Don't right. It was that. completely forbidden. Right, because and, and and people have told me, by the way, since I come, I came in. This is very interesting to me. Is that like there's? It seems like there may be a cultural shift because people are telling me, and what I understand, and in chat, correct me if I'm wrong here, but. People said that before the the sell in Doki Bird thing happened, it was more is somewhat more of a taboo culture. But now that that incident happened, people have become that like kind of changed. I would like say that I'd say it was more. It wasn't that that caused it. I would say that was more of a watershed moment. Um, I would think more. It's been changing as the media. Well, I'm kind of getting into it, so I might as well just continue. Yeah. Uh, so when it started, yeah, it was a huge taboo because like these people before then were like cosplayers or they hadn't done anything in the public eye. So sure. finding out who they were is akin to doxing or just, you know, br crossing a line because now you're you're it, th there was also a bit of the immersion thing because VTubers are playing a character. So like, you know, right, oh, right. don't find out who Maury Calliope is. She's Maury Calliope. She's a Reaper. She's a she, right. Grim Reaper. She's Death's Apprentice. She teaches. Little Reapers, how to scythe swing. What are you talking about? Right, immerse yourself in that character. Right, right, right. I get right. that. I get that. Yeah, it was half of that and half of you know, the, leave, leave their personal life out of this. But as the medium continued and we had VTubers that became other VTubers, now it's a matter of, well, now how am I supposed to follow my favorite entertainer if I can't talk about who they used to be? when they were also an entertainer in the same field. So the past life taboo kind of kind of fizzled out a little bit, but not entirely because the sort of the taboo was broken if you're saying like, what well, Selene, Doki Bird. Like we know mm -hmm. Doki Bird, Selene, right. Mm -hmm. Even something like Calliope, I won't say it, but see the taboo is still there, but it's sort of an open secret of who she is because she's also an entertainer outside of being Maury Calliope. But an entertainer that's not a VTuber, which is why you like you say I can say an entertainer outside of being a VTuber, outside of being more Calliope, but I'm not outright saying it out of respect. Right. Uh, so that's you sort of like, and like there's a point at which you have to acknowledge what people have told me. I had this conversation, like what word should I use? And somebody made up the word pilot. They told me it's oh, it's use the word pilot because people know like piloting a mecca, right? Yeah. Because there's some <laughs> points at which when I'm talking legally about stuff. I have to refer to that, that I have to break that little wall and mm -hmm. be like, well, there's a human there and, mm -hmm. and I'm concerned about the human and I'm concerned about protecting the human. So I need to say this. I don't want to offend anybody. Right. I mean, I, once again, I, I'm not a person who's afraid to, you know, I'm not on, you know, eggshells here, but I'm trying to say, okay, well, what, how is the, what does the community refer to that person as? Well, you know, oh, well, you know, you can use this term and people will understand. Okay. Well, I'll yeah, there's that, all kinds right? of things. Like people would say, yeah, but, roommate I, a lot. but I understand, look, I understand communities can have rules. And, and, and in fact, in many cases, community rules are great. And I'm actually pro in, in many cases, uh, a certain level of um, keeping out tourists right? That may come by with ill intent, like the Twitter mob, just to hate bomb and then drop out. I, I'm for a little bit of quote unquote, 
gatekeeping, right? Although I don't think that's actual gatekeeping. I think it's mm -hmm. just screening for yeah, screening. tourists versus authentic people. It's more screening, but I'm okay mm -hmm. with screening, right? That's fine. And I think having some rules is screening is saying you need to follow some rules, but there's a point at which you need to think about the rule and say, okay, when is it, when is it something that we have to actually deal with in a thoughtful way? And when is it something that, okay, maybe uh, we need to, we need to respect it. Right. So there's like, there's a, there's a, when do we not reference the past life? When do we do? When do we acknowledge there's a human behind that? When do we don't? You know, there's a little bit in VTubing, I think, that follows rules that can trip up people that are normies or trip up people that aren't used to the culture. Yeah, of it's, it's, it's sort of like respect, hold up the immersion, but in the event that it becomes more of a problem to not say it than not, then just say it. Uh, yeah, just don't, don't, don't be difficult about it. Where it's like, we're trying to have, again, let's say the Selen Doki Bird. It's like, oh, Doki Bird, she was never, who is the Selen? Like, come on, man. There's a whole thing going. Don't don't push it there. No one's really doing that, but that's an example. Like, you know, mm -hmm. we're, we're trying to, or, you know, trying to follow one to another or or just, you know, the curiosity. Because Pippa did um, a little bit of VTubing before she was Pippa. So people, you know, mm -hmm. kind of know who she was. Not everybody, you know, a lot of the latecomers and everything. But there's a, there's a segment that know who her other identity was. And, you know, they they have their eyes on that. But it's you know, even then, like, I'm not bringing that up because it was a smaller identity. It's not as relevant to her as Pipkin Pippa, whereas with Selene and Doki Bird, it's 1000 percent relevant. So those these are all it's like nuance. There's all kinds of little things like when do you bring it up? Why do you bring it up? What do you bring up? Uh, but a lot of it is out of respect i mean there's again the the immersion. out of respect obviously right and obviously like if it's tacked like you said tacked if tacked. someone had said do not I'll take the secret to, to my grave <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah like, if, if someone's gone out of their way to say that you don't do it right yeah like, like, if someone's and, and, set down a line, you don't do it. yeah like i get you know i'm not responsible for jokes i like i'm just i'm just telling jokes i get that logic but you have to understand that things that you say can cause things and you're not you know it's you're not held on trial for it, but it's just a matter of decency. If you know something's going to start shit, like you don't talk sh like like a, the too soon argument, right? Uh, if you're funny enough, it's never too soon. But you still shouldn't crack a joke about a dead guy at his funeral with his crying relatives there. Yes, right, right, uh, it right. is a joke. Yes, you should not be technically punished or arrested for doing that. But it's a dick move. It's, you just it's don't. The Gilbert, do it. It's, it's the move. Gilbert Godfrey. I don't know if you remember this, Cody, but the Gilbert yeah, Godfrey right. 9 11 joke. Yeah. You know, it was like it's like if that was a year later, it would have been funny. But, but it was even I think honestly, if you're soon. funny enough, you can do it like a day later. Even if just the the shock is part of the laugh, which is a lot. Maybe, of, maybe you'd have to be a you'd have to be a comic. It's got to be really funny. It's 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 a it, huge risk. It's, it's a it's a it's look and and listen. Comedy is about pushing edges. I get it, right? And like once again, it like it's about timing. It's about tact. It's about thoughtfulness, right? Um, when you're dealing with uh, to some of these issues. So yeah, I just want to get that. Uh, no offense, but that sounds like some commie gobbling. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. to the goat. Oh, uh, great. Uh, Looney Miss, welcome as a member. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Fruit Desert said, Who did I, uh, what did I just join and who were, were you just roasting? Oh, that was a while ago, but I think you were back but, when we were talking about uh, Medicare and all that stuff. So, okay. We're moved in. We're moving kind they of were ro right now. roasting not, a pig. <laughs> roasting a pig. Roasting a pig. Um, Solon says, uh, Clearly not the bunny. Where's the mold? No puke drawers, no <laughs> imposters, gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you. Except uh, no substitutes or imitators. Ironically, if he had said this is this totally is Pippa in his tweet instead of this is totally not Pippa, I don't think there have been much blowback, if any. Well, that was the uh, idea. I, I, he was insinuating that he was revealing Pippa's real identity and being cheeky about yeah. it. But the joke and, was that it wasn't. And it was let me say joke. one more thing. Because I know this was mentioned in the chat, and I want to mention it too, and I think it was mentioned in a tweet as well. There are legal considerations, right? So there are things like NDAs, privacy, for example, um, you know, in the portrayal of a character, right? If you're saying, okay, if you're coming out and making these releases, we saw with the Niji Sanji contract, I mean, they can control a whole lot or try to control the whole lot, right? In terms of your public appearances and when you're, you know, announcing yourself. So there could be all sorts of legal breaches if somebody was to, you know, have an appearance that wasn't authorized, right? That could get somebody in trouble. 
Um, so that is a consideration for VTubers that maybe like normies don't think about because they don't have to worry about, you know, if you're walking to your job at, um, you know, Walmart as a greeter, you don't worry about an NDA for privacy for your appearance, but you're not a VTuber, right? VTubers, VTuber industry is a whole different thing with an entirely different set of concerns, right? So that's something that I think isn't intuitive for folks. It's like it's um, like uh, if you tell a joke that you know is going to rile up someone in the room, even if it's a really funny joke, it's like you you wait to tell that joke when that person's not in the room. If you tell that joke when they're in the room, it's just going to cause problems and everyone's going to be annoyed at you for telling the joke. And that is what happened with this situation. It's not that, oh, how dare you ever tell this joke? How dare you know, yep. you're responsible for what happens? To no, it's just don't be a dick. And you were a dick. Just don't tell that joke with this person at this time. Just don't do that. It's more of a problem. And the joke isn't yep. funny enough to merit the problem it's going to cause. So just yeah. keep it to yourself. Not not then and there, like time, place, and manner, right? You know, it's yeah, like yeah. you don't go into, you know, it's like there's things you don't do in church or at your grandma's house, you know. I'm right. Just saying. Just don't don't uh, don't egg on the VTuber identity shit because there's weirdos that are gonna get spurred on by that. Yep. Emperor Creatine says the individual in question should have stopped at attempting to cultivate erotic <laughs> energy from a surprising source. <laughs> Might have been a better outcome. Oh no 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 no. Uh, and then Pixie Vista says I'm not gonna. I somebody I think uh, Kirsha didn't know who Jack Murphy was. I had to explain to her. It was <laughs> oh, no. she didn't know. She didn't know, and I'm like, just look him up. Just look him up. Oof. And then we. Uh, and I think the we read like, the article actually. Kirsha is just like, well, that's a lot of cuckolding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like, this? well, I would. I was just impressed because, like, you think Kirsha knows it all, but like when I got Kirsha, I was very proud with that. I was very proud. With that. <laughs> yeah. uh, a tab she didn't see, have. Yeah, I, I was actually surprised. Uh, Pixie Mista says, YouTube's algorithm recommended recommended the GoGo Nippon to just about every Fuamoko fan. That's hilarious. Uh, I actually, uh, fun fact, fun fact, I got a visa through GoGo Nippon that I didn't use. Uh, actually, it, uh, there was when I was going to go to Japan. Uh, I was set to leave the U.S. I was going to go to Japan. I had my language visa thing. I was ready to go, ready to ship out. And they closed because of COVID. So I ended up going to Korea because Korea was still open. So it's it's uh, funny, really um, fun adventure there. That was a funny little moment for me personally because early, so Anime Outsiders early on, we had a podcast for a while, and it was pretty much a shock jock show. Um, it was a shock jock show, and a lot of it was us egging on um, the more uh, reactionary members of the fandom. And uh, Gogo Nippon had just come out, so we did an episode on that where we played that, and we made fun of it because it was cringe. Uh, and then all these years later like a specter returning back to my life. I see that Gogo Nippon is back in VTuber form, which blew me away because like I'm into VTubers at this point. So this feels like a weird prank on me. So I watch them and they're and very entertaining. And I feel like I feel like I have to go back and apologize for this podcast I did like four or five years ago. <laughs> at this point or maybe longer than that god it was so long ago like no i'm, I'm just sorry. realizing i'm just realizing this is a video game and not the visa the language visa program so yeah no anyways no, uh, go to Palm, my first funny. trip to japan it was a steam game yeah, yeah. uh and the two girls it's based from it, on that yeah right. and the two girls from it became vtubers oh, and and past life i'm breaking some taboos here but i mean their story is uh -oh. very inspiring but so that's why i can bring it up uh they they were they had the rug pulled out from under them before they were ready to quit because they were having fun and they were building the brand just these two girls but they didn't own Gogo -Go Nippon. That was this, and the guy that owned it was an idiot who thought uh, that he was going to just use VTubing to promote a new Gogo -Go Nippon game. And once he was going to do that, he just right. ended the VTubing thing. Like people weren't there for the VTubers. So they had to pull out from under him when they were having fun and building an audience. And it was terrible. And they were emotional about it. And then, you know, everybody thought it was the biggest shame. They're all hoping they came back. And then that fucking Hollow Live animation for their new gen came, and there were two identical dog girls. And people were like, no fucking way. Like, is it them? Is it them? And then that debut stream, and they heard the voice, and it was like, there are fucking Chat happy endings, was people. was hype. Yeah. I, I believe not, yeah. in happy endings. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. That's, that's, yeah, that's go. Still amazing. making dreams come true. Mm. Um, you could not have, you could not have removed that smile from my face with plastic surgery, boy. Let me tell you, it's great. Nux and his friends have a similar joke. Still funny. Okay, cool. Uh, 
Uh, and uh, Wiki DPR says, kind of similar concept to not talking about how good sex with your ex was at Thanksgiving with the in-laws. <laughs> oh, time and place. <laughs> oh. Listen, I cannot absolve you. Mega based. <laughs> <laughs> um, funny you mentioned Maury, Cody. YouTube recommended her alt stuff to me six months before Myth re or Myth debut. <laughs> there you go. Um, so that was it. That's all I got for uh, Pippa. So I view I I think all four counts once again. Uh, funny is very tongue in cheek, but I think you know Pippa in her own way is completely not just innocent of those, but I think it's beyond innocence. I think in every single one, she's helped us reflect on all those four major issues and should help us kind of learn and, and think thoughtfully of them. Cause they're all important things to talk about, you know, whether it's like how we move forward with the conception of a past life, how we stand up to people that are trying to bully us when we're trying to play a game or watch an anime, you know, and they want to tell you it's a naughty no, no thing to do. Right. Uh, whether it's dealing with AI and that as a quote unquote controversy, you know, or, uh, you know, whether it's, <laughs> or, or whether it's any other problem you might get, you know, in relation to something you're doing or content you're covering, right? Like I think Pippa's just had such a creativity, you know, flavor is something that is absolutely creative. Um, and I think that's an inspiration. I think it's a positive force. So to me, you know, this, this, this stream is really, Hey, Pippa has been a positive force for good in the VTubing sphere. And I think that's why without question, she is the most recommended streamer uh for me whenever i have clips in and it's always pippa and i think that's because she's doing something good but uh but uh, yeah anyways uh any closing thoughts there gator um on yeah, uh pippa. we're gonna have some more we got some more clips don't worry but but uh but yeah any closing thoughts on, on generally on pippa it's it's wonderful the confluence of events that kind of led pippa into our lives you know everybody discovered her from a different stream but in, you know no matter how long that you've been a pippa fan everybody's a pippa fan and I think I think you know the Capipis are strong, and you see you see the love that they have for the stuff that she does, and she's a she's a positive experience on the internet, and at a time where people really need that, you know, thing, things can kind of look bleak out there, and it's nice to see somebody that her entire mantra is, I just want to have fun, I want to have fun with my friends, I want to do like really cool stuff, I want to create and be awesome, and I want my fan base. To create and be awesome too, and it's it's and this is kind of like the the, the feel of VTubing. Whereas you look at a lot of other internet subcultures, and it's all about like you know whose back can I stab in order to climb right, to the right. very it top? It's all these bucket of crabs, super crabby, yes, super crabby and crappy. And and you know coming from a, one of those subcultures that was like that. VTubing is like a breath of fresh air. Like you finally stepped out of Plato's cave and you're like, ah, so this is the sunlight. This is what I've been missing all of my life. De radicalized <laughs> by VTubers. It's just, it, it's so wonderful. Because the it's VTubing much more community calm. is- it, It's, it's yeah. shocking. I mean, it, you know, even compared to the like of the law sphere and everything else, in a lot of other areas of streaming, I mean, it's just so much more, uh, people try to push you so much more into drama, into fights, other stuff like that. Um, and there's just so much more conflict. And yeah, there's there's issues within the VTubing sphere and there can be Absolutely. personality differences, et cetera. Of course, of course, right? But the the vast majority of folks are supporting the content creators they like and encouraging them to continue on and create good things, which is why I think it's a positive area and I think it will grow. I think it it's going to uh, expand. Um, and I think that's a good thing. That's a net, that's a yeah. net positive. And it's also yeah. very self-regulating uh, too. Because when you, you know, you do have those, like we talk about the V tweeters, right? You do have those, those subversive elements that try to worm their way in and they're largely rejected by the community because they're like, no, we don't, we don't accept that stuff in here. We want yeah. to support our Oshis. We want to cheer on our Oshis. We want them to collaborate with other people. And if there's all this drama in here, then, you know, that we, we don't have the, the, the space for maximum free expression so you guys can kindly get the hell out yeah right. i think uh, a big reason the gatekeeping the gatekeeping hasn't been flawless with vtubing but it has been generally successful and i think a lot of that is because it is a very positive happy space um whereas like th there's so much other even if you're into like lol cow shit let's say uh like yeah i've i'm just so immersed in bullshit 
I just want to come up for air. Like you're, you're just right. in the, you're, your head's under the muck so long. You just want to go, oh, the dog girl is so cute. And then just come back out. You know, like it's, it's refreshing for so many people. And so they're protective of it. So that's why if you talk politics as a VTuber, people jump down your throat because I get politics everywhere else. This is my happy place. This is the place where I don't have to worry about that. And I just watch the funny clip or the cute clip or whatever. And I can forget about my worries. Do not try to bring my worries back into my no worries zone. And so the, a lot of that is the self-regulation is from that sort of protection of here. We can just be happy without any bullshit. We can, there's no uh, caveat to the happiness. There's no asterisk. There's no, I like your content, but I got to worry about the fact you talk to little kids or some weird stuff. Like, no, it's just a funny, it's just a funny uh, character girl. Look at her. She, she can't play this game and look how, how she freaks out when she loses. It's so funny. I want to, I want to watch that again. It was so funny. Like, that's it. There, there's no bullshit. We're so inundated with bullshit on the internet. You, you got to tiptoe on who your favorite YouTuber is because you never know when they're going to say something insane or talk to a 13 year old in a way they're not supposed to or or go off the deep end politically or whatever the case may be. And VTubing has largely been free from that. And people cherish the hell out of that. Right. Lar and largely it's right. Obviously, every space has bad actors. Right. Yeah. So like that's like no space is 100 percent immune. Right. No space <laughs> at all. Period. Right. Even pot. But it's hey, by and large, like what is the majority? Right. Right. Uh, and it seems to me the majority is well in the positive space and it's well in a creative space where people are growing, learning and expanding, which I think is a, is a very good thing. Uh, yeah. So people that, God bless them. And, and people give them a shout out. I see Moonshine Animation there in the chat. Yeah. A lot of love for them. Uh, and what they do, I saw that I saw them actually. They were in uh, the Good, Bad, and the Rabbit. Uh, so that that's uh, one of the cool things, you know, just seeing them and their opinions there. I um, love, really, really I awesome. love what Moonshine Animations does. Like it blows my mind how he so we're, 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 let's all just, of those figures. Let's, his, let's his play favorite. right now one that was highly recommended, and I can only play after two hours, and we are now at two hours and thirty six minutes, which is Suck the PP. Uh, so let's go with four. <laughs> this is seven minutes, but it's really only about four of suck to PP. Okay. How does it work? <laughs> oh, my God. It's so great. I don't think that made anything better. No, don't expose me. Don't expose me. No, no. Okay, and reset network. Whoa. That's actually pretty <laughs> cool. It's so good. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. What the fuck? What's going on here? A DJD exclusive investigation to the alleged VTuber on VTuber violence committed by warlord and undisputed leader of Pipakistan, Pipkin Pippa. A story that shocked and disgusted the community. DJD's Tarn is in Pakistan with yes, the story. I like this Pippa sweater better than the one he uses now. I'm sorry, Moonshine. Just, that, that, that looks better. Reporting to you live from the heart of Pakistan, following up on the latest transgression committed by Pipkin Pippa. Hatred is the Emperor's greatest <laughs> gift to humanity! The story takes us to an <laughs> undisclosed safe house harboring the victim, Mina Vanilla. Following her traumatizing experience with Pippa, Mina has been in hiding, with plans to leave the country to further evade any future encounters with the ruthless warlord, despot, and heartless tyrant that is Pippa. Yeah, I hate carrots. Carrots are stupid. People assume I like carrots because I'm a bunny, but that's racist. Powerless against the might of Pippa and her followers, <laughs> Mina has reached out to the DJD in hopes of getting her story out. 
Hi, Chad. I never wanted to make this type of video. As you guys know, I like to make wholesome content. But I have been encouraged by my friends and the other talent at Flavor to speak. And I guess I had to. The reason our old boss, Pepkin Peppa, no longer works here is that she was responsible for creating a harmful and non-inclusive work environment. I never remember any of this shit. On many occasions, she acted improper around me and the rest of Flavor's talent. Including asking us to take compromising pictures of ourselves. <laughs> Random Nazis. She used to try and blackmail us if we failed at getting enough super chats. Or couldn't show up for a stream. Es ist unerlässlich, dass wir dieses Fotomaterial finden. Verstanden. Ich werde gleich einen Befehl an unsere Geheimdienste senden. Das Ganze sollte nicht lang dauern. Ich meine, Chat, die können nicht damit alles sein. Die Situation wurde schlimmer, wenn sie mich gefragt hat. Ich habe mich aus dem Kopf gefragt. Ich wusste nicht, was das war, aber dann habe ich es gefragt. It wasn't just a racist jab at an Italian accent. <laughs> she was talking about her... Her... Penis. Find them! Find them! Find them, Jen! We must make them suffer! That's great. <laughs> Moonshine's done a few videos on paper of yeah, yeah. like uh so good, like such detail in the videos though, like just so great. And the fact that it's like an indie that's on the level of robot chicken, it's fantastic. It's but so yeah, go, go ahead, sorry, Cody. It's just so good. Uh oh yeah, no, you're ain't, ain't nothing wrong with what you said. Um uh, he's done a bunch of uh, a handful of videos of Pippa like taking bits of her streams out of context to make sketches of them. Um I'd recommend the second one because I feel like the second one is the best encapsulation of her streams. Just Pippa, th he's like three just Pippa things. And I think just Pippa things number two is the best of the three in terms of as a Pippa primer. Like if you just want to okay. pluck a video and like, this is what uh, the Pippa stream experience is like distanced in stop motion animation. Uh, just Pippa things number two would be, I think the one to go with for anyone in chat looking for, looking for a yeah. taste. Looking for a small taste. I love, I love this, this Mina here. It's like, okay, I have to explain. That is alternate timeline, Mina. That's not me. I'm the good timeline, Mina. Happily married with kids. There we go. There we yeah, go. Yeah, the Mina vanilla thing was a a whirlwind clusterfuck when Flavor first started, and then it kind of settled on that Mina. Like that's the Mina, uh, the, the canon the Mina. But before there was okay. a there was a whole shitstorm of Mina. Oh. Okay, here, here's what happened. Josuke punched the timeline and and it fixed it. <laughs> he used Crazy Diamond oh. to fix the timeline. That's that's the canon. Oh god, that's canon so now. Great. So great. Um, let's see. Sari Chama became a member. Welcome, welcome. Okay, AI Mr. Medicker said I can hear hollering. Someone grab that pill bottle shaker and send some tortoise. <laughs> I don't have any pills, but I have a bottle. Oh god. Uh, Fly Death 18 says, if you want to see a great Pippa clip, check out Pippa Tricks Lisa into Bad Drag. I, I, we, I think we've seen that one before, um, but if it, I'll see, I'll look it up. If it's short, I might have it. But I've got, I've got so many to. I did, by the uh, way, post the clip I talked about earlier in the chat. Oh, it's in the private chat, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, this one. Okay, thank you so much. Appreciate. Oh. Yeah, this one I have not seen. So thank you very much. Yeah, this that's uh, the one that like I that sold me on Pippa Tenma. This and is Faith. the so this is this is what sold you on Pippa. Yeah. Okay. Real war is on our minds, all right. The real war is on our minds. They're putting nanotechnology inside of the vaccines. Keep track of us, and if you indoctrinate us, what's going on with you? What are you talking about? You sound insane. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're playing a game, Lori. So, so take control. <clears throat> Sorry, she's uh, she's right now muted. Thank you for <laughs> my coffee right now. is cappuccino with two with two and the sugar. She still continue talking, but I will unmute now. Uh, Nani. Anyway, 
Yeah. Oh, Tony, see it again. So, <laughs> so, everyone, do you enjoy this game? I think this game fantastic fun. One second, she's still talking. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water. <laughs> 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 this, can you go Wait, see I'm me? I'm the little one. Yeah, I just told you that 10 minutes ago! You were busy talking about water poison! And I don't know what gacha game you were talking, you stupid! <laughs> oh. You call me it water poison just killed me. Water <laughs> poison, like that translation. Come on, perfect, perfect, spot on, spot on. Oh, God. Um, Pippa, aka Anime Girl, Alex Jones. Yes, yes, absolutely. I think Kirsha is a little closer. Kirsha, yeah, Philly describer of that. I think. Yeah, the Philly called Kirsha. <laughs> I think Kirsha is more Kirsha. Anime Girl, Alex Jones. Pippa's I more just her. like. Pippa is, you know what? Pippa is the character that, if it were a movie, would be played by. Uh, what's that? What's that guy? The, uh, oh my god, I forgot his name. Um, the. Shit, the the weird looking guy that played Mr. Pink in Reservoir Dogs. What the hell is it? Why the hell did I forget oh, his Belushi? name? Belushi. No, Buscemi. Steve, Steve Buscemi. Buscemi. Yeah, Pippa yeah, would Buscemi. be played by Steve Buscemi if this were a movie. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I get that. Now we're in the lipstick, like in what was that Billy Madison? Yeah. Yeah. We're like crosses <laughs> him off the list, like. Yeah, or like P Pippa, Pippa looking like in a, in a stream with Kirsha, just looking at Kirsha and like. So, do you think that uh, God stays in heaven because He too fears what He has created? Hold on, fuck you, sketch therapy. I'm timing you out. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as, as long as Diavolo dies, it's canon. <laughs> it's canon. Um, Ammon says, uh, "Would Pippa being part of DJ Sanji?" <laughs> No, no, listen, to be honest, I, I don't wish Nishi Sanji upon my enemies. So, no, I don't. I, I really don't at this point. Pippa so, would be like an be atomic bomb. Yeah, <laughs> she would not. She'd be she'd be out in two seconds. She'd be back in the and, and she'd be out. She would not survive that environment because the, they they're the, that's boot on your neck. And, and and you look for whatever people want to say about Sakana. He's not phase is not Niji or, you know, by by leaps and bounds. Sakana, um, Sakana was very smart, and he kind of addressed this too. Uh, he gave Pippa a little bit different boundaries than he gives everybody else because he knows like where she wants to be and what works. And clearly, it is the right move from a business decision. Um, he's he's very good at recognizing when he should pull back on his restrictions and when he should hold firm because you see like. Been have they been clear about what they are and aren't? I mean, I know yeah, like, a lot of it the, seems like it's the, some of it seems like scuttlebutt. Well, we were talking about the uh, like the situation earlier, right? And and I hate that yeah. that happened because like I'm friends with literally everybody involved. Sure, and sure. It, and, yeah, it, no, I've been it's in awkward. so many conditions. Yeah, it's yeah. really, really awkward because it's like Fucking I like awkward. all these people and I wish they could all you know get along. But, right. Yeah, that's not how it works. But you know, and, like, and that's and that's partially why I, I felt, you know, the need to maybe add that clarification because I feel like there's some genuine, there's an element at least of genuine misunderstanding and mm -hmm. perhaps not understanding like the important, the like perceived cultural importance of it, you know, for especially for some folks, um, and also some of the legal ramifications or potential other ramifications that might, you know, come of that. Right. I think um, when you're in ahead, a, Sakana, but Sakana was was smart, you know, in handling all those situations because it's like you know. When Pip is making fun of like a particular streamer, you know, and, and while that got her a lot of attention, it brought a lot of like negative attention from people you really don't want hanging out in chat. And Sako was like, okay, you know, Pippa, like it's funny, I get it, but you really can't be specific and like talk about specific people like that anymore. And and it ended up being a good thing. And and like with that thing, you know, it was like, okay, Pippa, like, you know, um, we need to we need to be more careful about like what collabs we're doing. And you know that made that made sense for at the time, and now like I think some of those rules have kind of eased again, and she's able to do more stuff. But you know I think he's got a good head on his shoulders, and he knows when he needs to step in and say, "Okay, we can't do this," and when he says, "Okay, Pippa, that's fine." Yeah, right, right. And I think um, I think the a big problem with the situation too was that uh when you are in a sphere where you're more of a provocative not shock jock but kind of 
type, you get this so, mind for the face for the for the in that space, right? Yeah, that, within that group, within that subgroup, mm -hmm. she's pushing a lot of the boundaries, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially within a corporation, right? She's not indie. It's different if you're indie because you you don't have to worry about the broader corporation. You you know don't have as much ability to let's say be sued, right? Like in, in fact, most companies when they look at indie vtubers they're, they're going to be like it's not worth pursuing them maybe they'll copyright claim you or, or do some youtube stuff to you or twitch or whatever but they're not going to come after you when it's a corporation you have real liability you have real mm -hmm. risk and you're not just risking yourself you're risking other people right but you're yeah. risking everything that, that works there so there are broader uh concerns i don't want to make it sound like every time it's coming from a ceo or coming from a corporation it's unjust and 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 you know it's stupid no they have to not just think about one person they do have to think about the whole business yeah right. and and in terms of like i said the incident i think when it, when you're in a space where you're more provocative and generally if you're riling up people that means you're winning you get the idea that every time you're riling people up, you're winning, and you don't realize that this time you've stepped in it and you're only hurting yourself, you're hurting your reputation and you're, you're damaging your audience and your brand. Not every fight is an indication of victory. Sometimes there are fights you don't wanna fight. Even if you think you're winning, you know there may be, let's say things you're not seeing that are that are doing more harm than good in the long run and i think that is a trap that a lot of more provocative more um make fun of stuffy uh personalities that's a trap they can fall into where sometimes no you you didn't uh trigger trigger anybody you just straight pissed people off and there's a right difference. right it went from it went from like yeah it went to it went jumped right over into pissing people off yeah. <laughs> you know like jump right into that yeah um Emperor Crete said, look up the Pippa Castle Doctrine. I mean, I know real castle doctrine, but I'm worried that it's the Pippa ca Castle Doctrine, which is probably a little bit different than the legal castle doctrine. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Marksman says, never forget that Kirsha exposed Pippa. Yes. Yes. It was <laughs> a bit longer. I'll be right. I'll be right back. My throat is killing me. I desperately need liquids. So I'll be right back. Oh, good. It's all good. Uh, and then uh Cyan said. Sakana was full knowledge. We are not a VTuber company and we do not have talents. We are a coffee company with salespeople. <laughs> I know. I, it, look, that's it's it's a very good meme and I enjoy it. But but being serious, they're, they're they they have contracts, right? And they've talked about this and they're actually pretty detailed. But they get uh, you know explanations or given like you know uh, run through of everything in the contract. Uh, they make sure they understand everything. So I mean, obviously, they're not just. They're not just people hawking stuff on the street for two cents. They actually do have contracts. Um, but yes, I get the joke. I get the joke. Um, Ch Changwa says, it seems like Fishman is, is in or at least on the side of the community prior to starting PC and knows when to pull back. Yeah, because I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is what uh, I think a lot of people don't realize. Like a lot of channels get demonetized on YouTube. And I think a lot of people miss like don't understand this, but like YouTube, Twitch, whatever. And he wants to keep them all on the side, on the clear side of the angels, so to say. Um, and he's made this comment uh, even on Twitter. And I kind of posted case on kind of making fun of it about being a, a degenerate saying like uh, his comment was like, there's a degenerate a comedian and a priest. It's like, you would just want to keep yourself from being the degenerate. Like it's, he's, the he's asking you to the delinquent, right? The delinquent right? Keeping you one step away from the delinquent, right? And the, the issue is when you get to delinquent status, it starts to affect you financially and that affects the company, right? You can't make money if you get banned. So, uh, and, and eventually if you're, you know, not performing and you're not making money, you're, you're going to get cut, right? I mean, because now they've got to, what do they've got to do? They've got to form an entirely new identity for you on YouTube. Uh, when you get banned, that's, that's not good. That's not good for the company. So, and, um, and it really a show with like uh talk about like some of the the lewd tubers on Twitch or whatever like right that that affects their brand and then like there's a lot of people that don't even want to touch that or be near that because like I'm just looking at, for some entertainment uh this is some lame shit this is weird this is gross or this is like creepy whatever whatever the reaction they have and like that's affect and look at 
perfect example. V Shoujo in the beginning. V Shoujo has a much different reputation now thanks to Kason and some of the talents they've picked up. But for a while, they had a real nasty reputation. They still got a little bit of it left. Like they've not totally shaken it, but they've shook most of it. Uh, they had a really nasty reputation because they were associated with their talents being whores and making political statements and just being very annoying, basically Twitch girls. And like, so there was a lot of animosity towards V Shoujo because they, they, you know, the whole talent freedom thing, people just, Oh, talent freedom. That's just code for being a whore. Like you, yeah. you do need to, to set boundaries because if you don't, that hurts your rep that hurt and right. your, your rep can hurt the whole company. And V show early V Shoujo is a prime example of that. That that's that's spot on. Like you, if you're if you're known, you can become known as a brand, right? So let's say you just in let's say you have like a hundred talents, but of the hundred talents, your top two are lewd streamers. Then your entire company gets known as the NSFW, the lewd streamer, what a company, whatever, right? Like we did that. Even if, yeah, back in the day, there was a website before Anime Outsider started. There's a website called Anime Three Thousand, and it was an anime podcast site, and that's where our podcast started. And we had a different vibe than the rest of the site, but we were far and away the most popular podcast on that site. And I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that this is how you can hurt something like that because we were a shock jock show. So people started thinking MA 3000 was that shock jock site and like they hate everything. And I was like, no, that we were like one of like five, six, seven, eight podcasts, however many on there. But because we were the most popular one and we were so abrasive our abrasive image was was associated with the whole site, even though every other podcast on that site was middle of the road, pretty milk it toast. Just takes it over. Took it over. Yeah. 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 And and that's and that's what can happen, especially when you're controversial. That can take it all over. So, like, I understand. Look, something like you know, I've heard restrictions like you know, limiting language, like four Chanish language and stuff like that. Like. I can get it because you don't want to necessarily like be fixed at the waist with something that's outside your control or fixed out the waist with, you know, certain, um, certain things that could get you demonetized. Right. And I think to me, the concerns from like a corporate and maybe even a legal standpoint seem to mostly be around stuff that deals with monetization, which I can understand. Look with my own channel, I take chances guys. I get demonetized very often. I get copyright claims for you guys. But that's because I make the decision. Like you guys should make the decision to smash a like button if you haven't already, uh, because we've only got a meager one thousand five hundred likes, and we've got two thousand five hundred people here. So those are rookie numbers. We got to get those numbers up. Pump them pump up. Pump those numbers up, guys. Until we get more likes than we have current viewers, I'm not satisfied. Not satisfied. Make me sick. Uh, by the way, someone. Uh, this is a good suggestion. Put them in a one on one. I am happy to interview uh, Sakana, and uh, I also reached out to the CEO of the Idol Company to see if I can interview them as well. So I am happy to talk about them. And, and like I said, I'm not trying to grill anybody or whatever. I just want to have a casual conversation on how they run their companies, what their philosophy is, what their management philosophy is, stuff like that, like what they want to do, what their vision for the future is, like a chill stream, you know, that doesn't have to be about legal issues, doesn't have to be about reviewing their contract. Just a relaxed, really nice stream. I, I would be happy to do that. Talk and about the love of the helpful. industry. Yeah, yeah. It's just a broader, a broader, relaxed view. I'd be happy to have that conversation the man, with any of those. The man has fallen down the rabbit hole and he has a stream deep in the hole. with all with an audience. He is gonna take full advantage of that clout springboard. <laughs> He's in this yeah. scene. And I don't begrudge <laughs> him a bit. No, no, not at all. And I think um, the thing I appreciate the most about you about you, Andrew, is that yeah. you treat the topic with the reverence it deserves. And yeah. you're like, you work with people, you, you know, right. topics they don't want to talk about. You don't talk about, you ask for permission before you talk about certain things. And that's something that I've always respected about you. And I, that's why I knew that you were the perfect person to cover the Doki bird stuff, because I was like, this is a guy that gets it. He's going to respect the industry. He's going to respect the individual VTubers themselves. Yeah, I do. And he's, he, you know, he's not going to cross lines, you know, just for drama bait or whatever. No. And, 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 and you know, if somebody uh, tells me something, you know, I'm willing to listen to them. I'm willing to understand, especially, especially since I'm new coming into this. When I came into this, I'm like, I'm listening to people that know better than me. 
I'm not coming into this being like, I know better. I'm the fucking king of the VTube in law and stuff like that. I'm like, no, I am learning. I know the law generally, but I don't know the sphere and I want to learn it genuinely. Now, at this point, I've been in this for over a month. I just did my, I've been doing VTubing issues for a month now. And I, I feel so seasoned. I've learned so much in a month. It's been insane. Uh, but but you're right. I think when you go into something, you do have to take it with a certain respect uh, or else you're going to hit a lot of pushback when you cover stuff. I mean, it's the, the you guys will appreciate this, the Matt Walsh covering gaming, you know, when he comes out and he's covering <laughs> right. gaming after the guy says he hates gaming in anime, by the way, you know, but yet he wants to grift off it. It's like, well, people have a negative reaction to that because you've put yourself out there as a person who hates something. So if you if that's your tact, then you lose all credibility to cover that thing, right? Yeah. So when somebody who comes out there and tells me that you know they think that anime is stupid or people that follow VTubers are infantile, right? I don't really, I mean, like I don't care about their opinion anymore, right? Because they've they've negged the entire uh, the entire thing, right? They're not taking it seriously with reverence, um, which I think is uh, which I think is important. Uh, so, <laughs> so yeah, um, let me get a couple of these here. Why does it sound like Sakana actually knows what he's doing? A lot of people say he's just lucky. No, I, I, I don't think he's just lucky. I think luck and also you can create your own luck. I, I think the guy knows what he's doing. And I think he's definitely, I don't know his background. You guys know when he was like his personal, I mean, I don't, well, from I don't what know I whether understand, that's he, he had money before he's like, I don't know what he did to get it, but well, clearly he, he like, had to have money to start an agency. I mean, you yeah, don't start an agency but, I mean, free, but he, right? he had like good money. Like he didn't need to do right. this. Uh, but he was like, hey, this this seems I like this VTubing stuff. I want to have my own agency. Like it wasn't there's there are people that started agencies because they saw this was like the new hotness and wanted to get on the ground floor. Sakana was like it seemed to have a generally a general. Well, he comes from a business love, background like, before he he did this. So he had right. he had money. He had business experience and business in yeah. acumen uh even by mm -hmm. um some of the early the the first gen um phase connect talents uh accounts even pippa that there were growing pains too like pippa said phase was rough to work at at the very beginning but they did fix a lot of it and sort of realize their problems and sort of you know write this right course correct basically um, right and uh, that's another reason. It's similar with Hololive in why people have such a high opinion of Phase Connect. Uh, even when Phase Connect screws up, there is a, uh, a an, an idea that they will learn from this. Mm -hmm. um, Hololive's had its fuck ups, but Hololive has done right by their talent so often and has clearly improved in those specific areas. Where people are like, okay, how I fucked up, but so what? Because I mean, like, yeah, they're better. They're they they're better in that regard. They've fixed that problem. So there's a trust there, and that's why, like, normally it's cringe to uh, to venerate a CEO, and yet no one really complains about Yago because people know right. he gives a shit. He cares. Like this is like he, he I mean, yeah, he cares. So. Same with Sakana, like Sakana, you know, he's kind of memed on same, similar to Yago, right. but right. people are like, he, he does right by his talents. He stands by his talents. He's, he works to improve his company. But to and, both you know, of their credit, for both of their credit in the very first stream I had with, with, uh, with Gator, both, both the fish man and Sakana. I remember very specifically, uh, so the, the Sakana, the, the Yago and Sakana and Yago, Yago and Yago, right? Yago and Sakana. Yago and Sakana, both of them were mentioned in people mentioning, you know, good leadership and good people. They were both mentioned right now. Yeah. It was mentioned that the fish man gets bullied. But uh, but yeah, like it's still uh, a big, big, big jump from Riku. Right. People, so, yeah, like, people appreciate good leadership, especially when that leadership is in charge of someone they give a shit about uh, parasocial, you know, whatever level of parasocial, whether it's creepy or, or healthy. They sure. care about their entertainers. And when this person, when this entertainer they care about is under basically the care of this person, they want that person to do right by their entertainer. And when they do, right. they are grateful. And that gratefulness manifests in this sort of CEO veneration you see in Sakana and Yago, which, like I said, normally would be cringe to do with a CEO. But because they have proven themselves capable and competent, it's, I think, justified and well-deserved. 
I, I would very, very, very much agree. Uh, ask Sakana about being a turret. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, he laughed as a uh, StarCraft turret. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's, that's what he would do the, as a little kid. Instead Lord. of playing like cowboys or Indians or whatever, he would, he would sit there being a StarCraft turret. That's actually kind of cool. That's yeah. actually pretty cool. <laughs> uh, for Fred, one says, I'm accusing Gator of being right. No, that'll Talking hurt my reputation of being of being an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Super Iron Bod said, "If only Sakana would stop roasting my pawn wolf Oshi." Wait, what? Oh, okay. So uh, that's he's that referring true? to Irie. Um, Irie, okay. One of the phase yeah. talents. Uh, she's called the pawn wolf. Pawn. Uh, it's a it's a slang term. It's a weeb thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and, and frequently Sakana will be on a stream with Irie for one reason or another, and he'll bully Irie. He'll pick on her. So. Uh, it's because she perfect. decided not to be, not to be the, uh, the next, the next Marine. That's why he, he bullies her. He bullies her because he harbors that grudge that she just didn't want to be Marine. He wanted, he wanted, he was <laughs> wanting to silence of the lambs her into his Oshi again, like have his own Marine. <laughs> oh, she didn't no, go no, for no. it. And guys, yeah, I know it's clumsy, clumsy. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. guys. Um, chat, very helpful. Fever says, uh, I'm pretty sure the fish man intended to invest in Niji Sanji, but they didn't respond to him. So he made a PC. Uh, so he made face connect. It was, There's a clip um, it was really? It was Sundaria. Sundaria was the. Sundaria. I, he made. Sundaria was the one that I know of. Now, I don't know if he did Niji Sanji or not. That would, that that would be, be nuts. Now, that, yeah. that is something I would ask him about. Like, like, can you tell me a little bit about your origin story, right? Whatever he wants to say. And, and and that would be an interesting little factlet there to ask. Like, you know, so I heard you were thinking about investing in each such. <laughs> so I think that's probably not a good investment, right? I mean, like, at this point, hashtag not financial advice. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Um, okay. Little clip here that you guys have uh, requested, and I think there was a super chat, which was Pippa in the uh, in the castle doctrine. So we had a complaint the other day that said that there was a particular rabbit making a lot of noise in their apartment last night. So we're just here to investigate. That, that claim is unfounded, um, and I don't know why they brought race into it, but that's fine. Okay, so you'd be fine if we searched your room, right? Uh, do you have a search warrant? Well, we don't need a search warrant. warrant. We're, we're actually the police. We have we have reasonable cause to know we, that we yeah. we probably should be checking your room. We we probably, probably should be checking your room. Probable cause? Okay, what's the probable cause? Probable for? cause. What, what's it for? What's it for? So, okay, what's I, it for? I, I what's can't say for? anything yet, but you have the right to remain silent, and if you seek to remain I, silent, and if detained? you seek counsel, that's am okay. I, am I being detained? No, 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 yeah, not yet, not yet, not yet. What you mean? What you mean? Probable cause? You cannot. You cannot come into my house. You cannot come into my house. That is that is illegal in your seizure of assets. That is that is breaking and entering. I have the right to protect myself and the extension of myself, which is my property. You have to understand my fucking land glowing. Oh, glowies exposed in real time. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's fucking great. That is great. That is great. Oh, thank you so much. Um, also, yeah, just trying to figure out. Okay, someone said there was a raid, but I'm trying to figure out who it was. Uh, well, whoever whoever raided, appreciate it. <laughs> and hi, raiders. Hi, folks who are joining here in the chat. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for uh, howdy, howdy. Thank you for joining. Thank you for raiding. Appreciate all of y'all. Um, so let me, uh, as we get to the uh, the back end here, I need to promote both of you guys. Uh, so of course, I think Cody, you dropped your uh, art uh in here so obviously uh you can find cody uh, on anime outsiders which i showed before and then you've also got your art twitter uh which i will go ahead and follow right now uh which is the uh bioworks this is all your creative projects right cody yeah my comics art that's that's my primary thing um cool. i do my comic cloud scratcher updates every week and i got uh um the book, the book, I'm not, it's not done yet, but uh, I will be posting updates as they come uh, and occasionally uh, art from that. Uh, I didn't mm -hmm. draw those uh, Asian people. That is an ad. 
I did that's draw that. Ad, no, yeah, that, that's clearly, that's clearly, doxing, my, <laughs> that's clearly doxing that I'm in Thailand. It's like, yes, <laughs> let me just let me just ignore my Thailand dox here and keep going right now. Thank you. Um, thank you. And uh, that that dumb little thing there was that is mine. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Maybe you want the Asian people back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is so good, though. This is like so great. So great. Oh, man. Um, cool. And uh, Gator, uh, do you have anything you wanted to announce or any uh, upcoming uh, episodes or uh, YouTube streams you're holding? Uh, nothing planned yet, but we are going to do a, an Anime Boomers episode about One Piece. So we did a, oh, awesome. a, a, an episode about a year ago where we talked about the story up to that point. And I don't even think we were out of Wano yet when we did that stream. It might have been two years ago. I, I know it was a while ago. Uh, we had Monkey Jones on. It was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun. He's kind of a I, I do, self I do have to, expert. I do have to give you a little bit of shit because you had my arch nemesis Lofty Pixels on uh, two weeks ago. Oh. And, <laughs> yes. Uh, he is the persona non grata for his bad takes. Lofty's famous. <laughs> oh, bad oh I, I can him. He kind of got into takes. it. It was funny. He's got he's some always, bad takes. He's always got a. He's like, I, I'm putting out on Twitter, like, who wants to join me for the next anime? He's like me, and I'm like jo like Jonah Jameson laughing, laughing gif. You know, it's like it's like absolutely not. He's like, come on, you want to? No, I don't. Sorry, Lofty, I love you, but no. Uh, Martin I like Do Lofty. He's no, just, no, he's I'm the giving, eternal contrarian. I'm giving, <laughs> I'm giving, I'm giving shit, but obviously, go. Uh, it's good to see you guys uh, streaming over here, doing lives uh, over here on the Anime Boomers podcast. You guys can go check that out. We had uh, Charles there. Khan, the the meme bastard himself, on the last episode. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, blast. Awesome. Um, Martin Droz says, I have a lot of respect for a man like Sakana creating a company just to find his Marine from Hollow Live, although he's still searching for that kind of person. I'm sure he will succeed. You can kind of <laughs> see he keeps trying and he keeps stumbling on the wrong. Like there, there's there's always a face connect girl that you feel like he's trying to be the next, you know, the the the. I guess the sexy girl it would be like he's trying Maybe. to have fun with Marine and then like they just don't they just that's not their thing like uh Irie's a good example she talked about like behind the scenes he was trying to groom her into being marine uh you have Erina did, he use, the, did he use the word groom though it is pretty close to grooming her it's pretty is grooming it's pretty <laughs> oh boy uh, okay yeah. let's yeah you have Erina, which you as soon as you see her you're like oh this is like the the sultry mommy girl no she is just like chill chill kickback streams um ember also has that vibe of the phase invaders that debuted recently ember Romane has that vibe of the she was supposed to be the marine like nah she's just another just she's just a gamer who just streamed the shit out of fall new vegas because i guess base takes mm -hmm. yeah, um yeah, but uh yeah it's just like you see, he keeps <laughs> trying god love him he keeps trying to find his marine and he keeps not finding anything but marine so close uh so Bruce says sakana we have marine at home <laughs> marine at home yeah. <laughs> uh spencer says sakana realized when he needed help and he, he hired experienced managers to fix the issues have you seen tenma berating sakana on stream that sold me on pc i yeah. love yeah. that video we watched it on here it's great yeah, yeah but it's gator and i watched the stream it's a it's a classic one uh, to watch, but I think I think a, a good way to to end stone this to cap this out is with this one here, uh, which thank you to my mod professional gentleman who queued up this one and many of the other um, clips for me. But this is cute Pippa moments that make you forget she's crazy. I hate when I go to cons and they have like they have like clothes and stuff, and you're like, oh my god, that's so adorable. Oh my god, and it's in my side. This is a girl problem. I don't I don't think guys have to deal with this. I'm like, oh my god, this is so adorable. Wow. Oh my god. And like you imagine yourself like, oh man, I could wear this and I could I could I could pretend to be cute, and then you're like, no, no, no. Also, this is thirty dollars on Amazon and two hundred and fifty dollars here at the booth. So no. Uh, so. <laughs> woman moment, it's so woman true moment. about anime con prices. I did a sleeve. Ah! I won! That was funny about body pillow. Would they make that? Oh, it's just a big SpongeBob doll, but it depends on how you use it. Like what, what you call it, you know? How are you using it? For my posture while I sleep, you know, that's what body pillows are for. They're long and firm. So. 
I don't think that's what people use them for. <laughs> that's what they're supposed to be used Sex? for. Sex? For the pillow? Does it yeah. have a hole? No, they like, they like... I don't want to describe this, you're too young. You're not ready for this talk yet. No, please do. No, 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 I'm, no I, I, don't, I don't want to talk about it. It's, it's awkward. People do weird stuff to it. They're like, I don't want to say, it's gross. What are you doing? Why are you bouncing your bottle, you freak? Stop it! Stop it! You're sick. You and your husband are six. Who, who, who? Six. Wait, sick. Sick! Who? Ah, I'm sorry. You're six. I'm sorry. Oh, cute! I want one of these, Chad. I always see them. I always see them at the toy stores and stuff. The plague doctors. These are plague doctors by Squishables. I love Dakimaku. Or not Dakimaku. Ah, ah, ah. Kigurumis. Kigurumis. I love Kigurumis so much, Chad. I love Kigurumi so much. I don't care if it makes me a literal adult child. I, had a I fucking at one love point. Kigurumis. I have like, oh man. I have, I have, I have like five different Kigurumis chat. What's a Kigurumi? It's like a onesie for adults. I want to get like a. I want to get the sheep one. There's one. There's the one. The sheep one that we saw on one of the other convention videos. I want to get it. Oh! Sorry. And then, <laughs> to top it all off, a hoodie. I had so many hoodies. Hoodies hoodies were life. It'd be blistering hot in the summer. And Mama Ken would look at me and she's like, it's, Pippa, it's genuinely not healthy for you to be wearing that. You are going to get heat stroke. And I'd be like, yeah. At least I won't be a whore exposing my shoulders. <laughs> Oh, so good, so if good, it, so good. If anybody is looking for just a Pippa stream, if you're new to Pippa, uh, it's not on her channel anymore. The VOD got nuked, but there have been plenty re-uploads where she uh, and fellow Phase talents Rie and Tenma did a uh, Mad Lib stream. Or what they did, they, they <laughs> I, did. I've seen, that, I've seen, I've seen that. We've seen that one. Yeah, yeah, the, it's, good. it's they, very they good. And they acted out the 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 results of the mad. It's one of the funniest VTuber streams I have ever seen. If if you if you've seen clips, folks, go watch the whole thing. The entire thing is funny. But the and it, it as if a bit of perfection. The best part is the last one, that last Mad Lib. Y'all know the joke. Y'all know I, the one. I think I think this is it. I think this is it. I'm gonna play this one. I think this is it, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh, definitely. I've been doing it since I was eleven, one hundred seventeen thousand and thirteen years old. How about you? <gasps> I love to drink piss too. It's such a constipated way to die. Every year during Holocaust Memorial Day, <laughs> my whole family would get together to watch them die on national television while we <laughs> played. <laughs> <laughs> this video does not see. Existed back then, bro. Oh, bro. It's so good. Oh, God. They're watching the archive footage on TV. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. 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 <laughs> Continue. Here, here, here. Oh. Oh, sorry. Okay. Well, isn't that just the perfect song? <laughs> You did it any oh, no. oh no! Okay. <clears throat> oh god. So, so, so tell me, Sneed, what's your idea of a perfect romantic evening? <laughs> 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 
Very good, very good. But on that note, guys, thanks for joining. Uh, I will be back when, and maybe sometime. We're going to take a little break, probably 24 hours, 36 hours uh, break. So I'll be back in a day or two. Uh, thanks to my guests once again, Gator and Cody, for joining. Uh, you gents can stick around for a couple seconds afterwards. We'll chat. But uh, until next time, I'll see you later, and we'll leave you with a little bit of this. Maybe I have a chance. <laughs>